Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright Trilogy. Yeah, and make sure you hold it. And before you watch this video, give us a like because you know you're going to like it before you watch it. Special thanks to our friends over at Capcom for providing a copy of this game. And it's time for us to take on the task of the Steel Samurai. So turn about, Samurai. Woohoo! Gah! You have disgraced me for the last time, Steel Samurai. The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood. The moon? No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon. What will be the last moon you ever see? The Steel Samurai! <laughs> hi -ya! See you in heck, evil magistrate! Whoa! The warrior's swords gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode. The Dark Messenger returns! I was gonna say that in unison with you, but I failed. Yeah, it's okay. October 14th, 5.31 p.m. Right and company law offices. The Dark Messenger returns! That rocked! See you in heck, evil magistrate! No, oh, whoa! Stop waving that broom around! Ah! Oh, Nick! Ah, I didn't know you were here! Of course <laughs> I'm here! It's my office! Oh. What was that surreal show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? Steel Samurai! He's the only the most popular TV hero for young people and kids! Young? <laughs> like, how young? Um, like 10 years old? Then what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey! I'm only 17! That's 7 and a teen! See? I'm, in, I'm a teen! Not like you, Nick! Hey, don't talk to me like you're your grandpa or something. I'm only 24! Oh, you're so old, Nick! Then watch it with me! He's really cool! And it's really popular, Nick! When they ask grade school kids what they want to be, Steel Samurai was number one! I really worry about kids these days. <laughs> Gramps! Well, the Steel Samurai's over. I guess it's time to close up the office! I guess. I wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Oh, I have a feeling we're gonna get some clients. Maya's murder was the talk of the town for some time. Mia! <laughs> but no one paid any attention to the right and company law offices. How am I supposed to pay rent this month? Oops. It'll be okay, Nick. We don't have to worry about bills and stuff. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Huh. Are you foreshadowing? <laughs> October 16th, 8.14 a.m. Phoenix My Wright's bedroom. Maya is so hopeful. Oh, uh, what? Uh, hello? This is Phoenix. Nick! Maya? Whoa, what? It's so early. Ah, it's, it's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Nani? You mean the guy on that show? Yes! They're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Um... Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV! Yeah, on TV. No, I mean, he actually did it in real life! He scared a villain with a samurai spear! I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about this early. Just come to the office quick! Please, Nick! <laughs> Poor Nick. October 16th, 9.22 a.m. Oh my god, she gets woken up by Maya just like you get woken up by me. Yeah, Maya's here watching television. <laughs> now for the morning news. <laughs> the actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids show The Steel Samurai Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. That's right, Luke. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. 
His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. Still inside? What about wearing the evil? Never mind. <laughs> the samurai spear was also found stuck through his body. Police believe that this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. Now on to other news. Kittens. I love kittens. <laughs> this has to be... Oh, wait, I think this you're is, uh, uh, Yeah, this has to be a joke. Where's the kittens? No, no, no! It's a nightmare! The Steel Samurai is over! The world is over! <gasps> what? Uh -huh. Hello? Yes? Right in company law offices! Uh, what? Nick! It, it's the Steel Samurai! What? <laughs> yes, yes, of course! We'll be right there! <laughs> she, like, speaks for him. Let's go, Nick! <laughs> go? C go where? Come on! They have a Steel Samurai down in detention! So what? So, I've decided this will be our first case! <laughs> Are you for reals? Oh my gosh, Maya's running the show! <laughs> what to do? <laughs> well, what should we do? What should we do? How can you just sit there like that? We have to get down to the detention center and meet the Steel Samurai! Of course, Nick! Does she want to investigate this case or just do some sightseeing? I wonder... We get to meet him! <laughs> My money's on sightseeing! <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going to the detention center. Okay. October 16th, detention center. Visitor's room. That guard never leaves. He's I know. Who's there? Whoa! Whoa, this guy... <laughs> What's wrong, Maya? It's him! In the flesh! Uh, um, is this guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him! Will Powers, our client. That's him! Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but he definitely did it! Murder at least once! I mean, maybe twice! Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you saying, Maya? Um... <laughs> yes Something wrong? No, no! This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? D disappointed Oh, no, no, nothing like that! No, it's okay. This is the real me! When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. Oh. It's the kids, you know? I didn't want to wreck their dreams! Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams! I wonder what they'll think of Steel Samurai now! Oh, <laughs> oh. Nick! What? He's a good guy! I mean, he's, like, good! Yeah? He didn't do it! Uh... <laughs> what happened? Maybe you could start by telling us what happened. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. The cast had come down to Global Studios for a run-through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 that morning. There was a rehearsal scheduled for 5 in the afternoon. But when 5 came around, uh, the staff gathered at the studio. You a magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. Whoa. Whoa. They took off his mask and discovered that it was Jack Hammer, dead. He was expertly skewered with the samurai spear. Whoa. The samurai spear? Yeah, it, it's a long spear that the steel samurai uses as a weapon. The steel samurai. Maybe you could explain to me just what the steel samurai is. Nick, how could you say such a thing? I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? 
No, no, it's all right, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kid show. He walks the streets of Neo-Old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although... I guess he did defeat him this time. <laughs> I, I, I see. Neo Old Tokyo. Who comes up with these names? <laughs> now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studio at 9. Uh, we worked through some action scenes until noon. Rehearsal was to begin at 5, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. That's a long work day. I know. When I woke up, it was after five. It was late for... And I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder? <sighs> Some action hero. What will the kids think? I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right! Global Studios! I'll draw you a map! Wow, Nick! Let's go! Oh... Ah, I'm willing to bet ten bucks she asked for an autograph. You know it. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. So I guess we're going to the, uh... Studio Main Gate. Here we go. Guess so. October 16th, Global Studios Main Gate. Oh boy. Awesome! Aren't you excited, Nick? Hey, you there! Oh. You want it, you gotta go through me! Her name's Old Bag. Uh oh! Sorry! We're, um, lawyers? Oh, yeah, well, that's great. I'm security. And it's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out. Gawkers! Gawkers, sightseers, tourists! I know the type you heard about the incident and came to snoop around. Used today, something horrible always happens. Don't you have jobs or do lawyers work for... Jump change. I was I'm not even doing anything. I was wearing my hippie clothes with all the youths coming around, and um, Nick, will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know. It's possible. What? Hey, listen when you're being spoken to, used today. I tell you. All right. <laughs> so, what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. Of course. In fact, in my younger days, well... No! You were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. <laughs> wow! Well, this place has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago, now that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too, he was. Hammer? The victim dummy! The evil magistrate! He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with, I'll tell you. Will Powers. Can you tell me a little bit about Mr. Will Powers? Hmm. He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it. Believe me! Little old ladies watching would lose their lunch! Sadness. That's probably why he thought the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor old Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Bull Powers is guilty! Powers? Of course he's guilty! How do I know? Well, I know everything. That's my job. Mr. Hammer, what kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? 
Oh, well, if you only knew! Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Oh, should I have heard of that? But there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing the villain on a children's program. Oh, what's more, I heard they were playing him, I mean paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Okay. Reason four. Are you... Why are you sure... Certain Mr. Powers is a killer? Well, I was standing right here yesterday, I was. Yes, sirree. I was here from one in the afternoon till five when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. So, if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers. Oh, that's me. And that person was Mr. Powers? Oh, I'm sorry. I read your line there, Phoenix. Yes, I saw him. <laughs> but Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you folks to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Power's request. <laughs> I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request immediately. And maybe I'll just let you in. Or maybe not. This lady here thinks she owns the place, obviously. Uh-oh. Well, she's wearing a uniform. We don't have a letter of request. Uh... Let's go back and uh, see. Hello! How was the studio? Uh, they all think I did it, don't they? Yep. <laughs> No, no, not at all. That That's not right, Nick. Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. <laughs> oh, I like your skills then, right? Um, about the security guard at the main gate to the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible. She called me suspicious looking. Huh, yeah, actually, she said the same thing to me before. <laughs> Take off that mask were her words, I believe. She sucks to, uh, she sucks up to all those bigwigs at the studio. But let her see you stumble once and she'll never let you up on. Wow. Ugh, she's got some nerve. You think you could, uh, write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Uh, of course. Power's request added to the court record. There we go. Hey. I just hope this will get me past the uh, that security lady. Me too. All right, let's move back to the studio. Ma'am, I have uh here. Have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers himself. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I recognize the bold, childish scrawl here. Power's request given to the security lady. To think he would entrust his fate to the use of such an unreliable appearance. Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass. But only left here from tw I mean, only you can only go left from here towards the studio. No going to the right. That's the employee area and such. No one allowed inside, pal, were my instructions. The good old detective told me himself. Hey! Oh, that's... Hey, me. Nick! Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. Ooh, hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents a piece. Thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. Uh, 50 cents! 
The tide map of Global Studios was added to the court record. Wow. wow. Okay. Outside Studio One. Actually, let's examine this area first. Is it okay to say I don't like this lady? Yep. Looks like a studio van. They probably use it to carry around film equipment. Okay. Uh, we've got a monitor over here. The computer that runs the studi studio security cameras. Hey! No touching that darn dang nabbit! Dang nabbit, Amber. Dang. The security guard station. That security lady must like junk food. There's a mountain of it on the desk in there. Say what? I can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Wow. An overhead map of the studios. Right from here is the employee area. To the left are the actual film studios. Okay. Anything else to, uh... Well, there's a gate. Okay, look at the gate. The main entrance to the studio. There was a big scene here yesterday with onlookers pressing up against the gate. So, uh, before I forget people, what makes this game different than the Nintendo DS version is you can see a magnifying glass and it will actually highlight yellow when there's a clue for Phoenix and Maya to look at. Yay. So that was added for this version of the game. Awesome. All right, so let's move really quick. Let's get uh, out of outside here. Outside the studio. October 16th, Studio One entrance. Hey! Aren't you that murderer from the other day? Ah! It's the confused detective! Confused detective. Hey, pal, you know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset, and it's all your fault. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. <laughs> um, so? Hey! If he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work, then! <laughs> um, detective? I think you hurt his feelings, Maya. Oh, no! I'm sorry! Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It was all my fault. I can't blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey! Don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well... We're on this case, too, pal! Aw, hey! You can't just go around saying pal like that! That's my endearing character trait! <laughs> wow. I'd say he's a character, all right! All right, let's, uh, <laughs> talk That's to right, him. Maya. So how's your investigation going, detective? Well, it's... Hey, I can't tell you that. Nick! Maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. Right, so, Detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? Uh, what I got? The autopsy report, the latest version, if you please. Hmm, right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. All right, we have the autopsy report. Woohoo! Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. Uh, the murder took place right over here in Studio One. Now, the victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no one other than the victim in the studio. Mm. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30. And that person was none other than Mr. Powers. No one else, pal. If you think I'm lying, ask the security lady at the main gate. Nick, if that's true, anyone would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. <laughs> All right, oh gosh. security lady. About the security lady. Uh, that sweet old lady? What a charmer. Huh? Are, are <laughs> we talking about the same person? Uh, uh, when I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. What, she had donuts? Remember what Power said. She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? What? Uh, decisive evidence? 
What kind of evidence, detective? Well, that, er, uh, photo. The photo of the steel samurai heading toward the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? Uh, see the camera up at the gate, pal? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah. Uh, whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically snaps a photo of them. Oh, no! Nick, he has evidence! We're finished! Wow. Funny, for someone with hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. Uh, what's wrong, pal? You seem down. I don't look so happy when... Don't look so happy when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> Please hear some questions. Sure thing, pal. Uh, go wherever you like. Of course, you're not gonna find any clues I haven't already found. <laughs> wow. I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go. We've got a, a free pass to the place. Now's our chance to check things out. Okay, so let's examine. They said the security camera. Hey, there's a camera here. Oh, uh, that's the security camera. It takes photos of people going to the studio. All you have to do is look at the date and you can see who went the where. There's a number plate on the camera, ST1307. That must be the camera ID number. Okay. So there's an empty bench. I'm a little bushed. Maybe I'll take a short rest here. Uh, hey, good idea, pal. Detective, aren't you on the case? Well, well, yeah, but... <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, us detectives get tired of standing around too, pal. Poor okay. Maya, she gets making a detective feel bad. Yeah, Maya's on a roll today. All right, what else can we look at? There is... Oh, that statue. Oh, oh yeah, in the bush. Detective Gumshoe, what's down the path to the left? It looks like a tree fell down over the path. Oh, yeah. Uh, that way's kind of dangerous. You should stay out, pal. There's nothing down there, anyway. That's where the Studio 2 used to be, they tell me. Uh, they don't use it now, though. Okay. Uh, okay. The head? The Studio Mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some kind. But what kind of monkey has a nose like that? I know. He's holding a sign in his hand. Right to the Studio 1, left to Studio 2. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday, and the head broke off. Uh, took the tree down with it, too. Okay. Whoa. All right, so we've got pretty much... Oh, oh that's studio. Just a studio one. Entrance to studio one. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. Hey, it's locked. Looks like you need a car key to get in. It makes sense that they would want to keep non-employees out. Alright, so if it's locked, then we probably need to talk to... Probably the detective again. Studio... Oh, it only makes us go to the studio main gate. Maybe we have to go somewhere else to go find the card key. Oh, probably have to go back to talk to the guard. station stuffing your face with donuts i guess all cops like their donuts <laughs> yeah and they're soft enough she doesn't need to teeth to chew them <laughs> <laughs> hey you well are you satisfied powers is guilty yet uh she had to make my life harder by giving that photo to detective gumshoe i know right <laughs> Why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Hmm? Oh, that. I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Oh, just to the left from here is the gate with the camera that took that photo. 
It's my job to check the photos every day, you see? This guard station is in central position. No matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. Now, poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before 1 p.m. The murder happened right around 2.30, see? The only one I've seen going through here between 1 and 2.30 was Powers himself. The, the security camera got a good look at him, too. If he's not the one, what did it? I don't know what it is. Maybe it was you? <laughs> oh, good one, Sunny. Good one. She thinks I was joking. Was the victim, Mr. Hammer, a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was? Past tense? Oh, yes! He was great as the bearded samurai! That too, yes. He shone the brightest back in the day, though. Making a star like him play the evil magistrate, it's a disgrace, I tell you! Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? I mean, really. You're gonna be a fun old lady someday. <laughs> About the security cameras. Thank you. Ah, yes, the camera. It's automatic. It can tell when someone walks through that gate, see? When it snaps a photo. Apparently, it records the time when it takes a picture, too. But I don't bother myself with those details, you know? I just view all the photos on the computer over in that security guard station where I work, and I check them every day before going home, I do. Okay. Um, maybe we should present the photo and ask her, like, why she, she deleted the other one or something. Like, I don't know. What's that? You giving that to me? Uh, Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. Uh. What's that? You're giving that to me? No, 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 I'm not. All right, never mind then. What's that? Are you giving your badge to me now? All right. Um. Well, we've examined everything here. So I guess we have to go back and talk to the detective, see if he can give us a key. Oh, there it is. Employee area. Never mind. Oh, okay. Well... October 16th, Global Studios, employee area. How do we get to the employee area? B button. Nick! This is where they do all the behind-the-scenes stuff! Hey, look! There's Power's dressing room! No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. Okay. So, now it's time for us to examine. So we've got... Soda? The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Good stuff. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus the steak. Hmm... T-bone steak? That would have hit the spot! You just had a burger! Oh, haha, <laughs> yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks, you know? What? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, Maya. <laughs> That must be the storage room. Good job, Maya. Always make room for steak. That's where they keep all the film equipment, I guess. Probably. Wow, Nick! You know a lot about the industry! Um, what else would they keep in a film studio? Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, oh, the soda machine. Trying to show off for Maya. Yeah. Let's see. Cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh. It's so normal. I was expecting some cool theme snacks or something. Popcorn, at least. Well, wait, look! Samurai soda! Nick, try this! Ladies first! Okay, so... Glug, 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 glug. Glug, 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 <laughs> yep. You can check the window, maybe? A window into the dressing room. The glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. Good try, Amber. All right, 
Where do we need to go, Mr. Magnifying Glass? Oh, we've got some... Uh, have you gone to Will Powers Dressing Room? There's a sign by the dressing room door. Will Powers, it must be neat to be the star and have your own room like this. Maybe we can move into the... The door to the dressing room. It's not locked. <gasps> we can go in! Hey, Nick! Let's take a look inside! Maybe we can find something as a souvenir! What do you mean, find? Uh, well, you never know. There might be something like the samurai spear! We don't need a spear! Oh, I think we do! And that's the murder weapon for crying out loud! But it would be so cool! Come on, Nick! All right, so we've examined everything here, so I let's go inside the dressing room. We need the spear, Luke. No, no, we don't. Global we need it. No, no spears. No. Why Powers dressing go? room. So this is where he was sleeping. Or at least, this is where he claims he was sleeping. Dun -dun -dun. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth for his sake. Okay, so let's examine his room. This is where he was sleeping. It looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here yesterday. Hmm. So we've got his window again. It's locked. Looks like he doesn't open his window much. I guess it's kind of dusty outside. There's some regular suits among the costumes here. Those must be his own clothes. It'd be fun to want to wear one of those costumes! I'd say you were already wearing one, myself. Uh, cause you're... It's interesting, he doesn't say those things out loud to Maya. No, he doesn't want to hurt her feelings. <laughs> they always have mil mirrors like this in dressing rooms. I see my hair is still nice and spiky, just how I like it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick! I'm hungry! You just had a burger! Oh, yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets! How many stomachs does this girl have? <laughs> wow. Hmm? This must be Power's bag! Hey, don't open that! Look! An employee key card? That must be Power's. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick! Borrow it, you mean? Borrow. Oh, right. <laughs> Card key added to the court record. Okay, so we took... What else is in his bag? I wonder what else is in Power's bag? Stop that! My partner, the thief in training. Okay, so we're not going to go through his bag anymore. Oh. There's a vast array of cosmetics here. No! <laughs> and how can you tell the name of a show just by looking at a wig? I, um, kind of like samurai movies. Kinda? Alright, so... Oh, good I think times. we're done here. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go to the area that we couldn't get to before. Alright, move to studio main gate. And we want to go here. Mm, I think move to studio one. No, no, no. We'll examine again. There we oh. go. The entrance to studio one. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. I wonder if this card key we borrowed from the dressing room will work. It opened! Oh, right! We're in! She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. Yay! Inside Studio One. Oh, yeah. October 16th, Studio One. Mm. What is it, Maya? Aww. You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you shivers, Nick? That white tape! It's so... So real! Uh, you saw your dead sister, remember? Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. 
The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Mm. All right. So let's, uh, that's an interesting silhouette, though. Um, I know. Wow, look at that camera! That must have cost a ton! Yeah, so don't touch it! Whoa, it's heavier than I thought! Hey, you! No touching that! Oh, oh it's that's a girl. girl. Uh, sorry, my partner's kind of, well, you know. You know? No, I don't know! Oh. Um, who are you exactly? Oh, who, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. Oh, we're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers! Oh, so you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers! <laughs> I get it! I don't envy you guys one bit. But, uh, do what you can for WP, okay? He never heard a fly! He has to be innocent. Don't worry, leave it to us. Maya always has so much energy. All right. Yeah, she does. So that was the light fixture. Wow, look at that camera! It must have cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Oh, sorry. Uh, I think I already did this before. Oh, okay. Look, a ladder. She's so excited about things like ladders. <laughs> That's a step ladder. <laughs> so? What's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on your narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right. Sorry, this girl is out there. <laughs> uh. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick, take a look at that! What are those black and white boards? They clap at the start of filming! And look, a megaphone! A real-life megaphone! Uh... Ready, Nick? Okay, action! This girl is more trouble than I thought. <laughs> She's been in the woods her entire life. It shows! Uh, that's for reflecting light. They call it a reflecting screen or something like that. The assistant holds it during filming. Huh. What? Where's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? Well, lighting is fine, but I'd want to be the director, you know? Or maybe the steel samurai! I think she's being serious. Alright, so we've got his silhouette here. They outlined where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected a spear stabbing would leave at least a few blood stains. I know. Hmm. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. Uh huh. Maybe. Alright, I'm not really seeing anything else here. And we're talking with uh, Penny here. The day of the crime. Uh, could you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Hmm, yes. I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see? Only assistant? Yes, well, the studio isn't doing so well right now. And yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. Oh, I see. We'll get a recap. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee arena. I mean, area. <laughs> WP and Hammer were there along with everybody else. The employee area, that's where Power's dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. Hmm. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WP go into his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Okay, well that's interesting. Uh, did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private... I mean, what kind of girl do you think I am? What, what, what kind of... No, 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 I'm sure you're a fine girl. I'm sorry. 
so much for getting a confirmation of Power's alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If WP was the only one who came to the studio... Then he has to be the killer! They even have a photograph! Hmm... Um... Sorry, I know you're busy. No, not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about! A clue! A lead! Well, I don't know about that, but... That day, just after noon, I sensed someone was here. You know, like, se oh, you sorry. You sensed? Yeah. I mean, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? Hmm. No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was the action scene run-through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. Really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I don't have better information than that. No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot, Nick! Okay, sensing someone. So you sensed that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio that day? Yes, I think. I think doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. Nick! What about the security lady? If somebody else came through the studio, she must have seen them! Okay. Thank you, Penny. For your Bye, Penny. Input. Hey, what's up, buddy? Penny would say, see you guys later. October 16th, Global Studios. What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Okay. Um. Assistance claim. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was around 2.30 p.m. Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as I can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was somebody else from outside here on that day. What? Are you absolutely sure that you were here watching the whole time? Uh, ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? <sighs> All right, you better tell me quick, you spiky-haired cretin. Someone's been complaining about the work I do? Eh? Um, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One and... Oh, her. She's not even a full-time employee. Are you youngins are like, hmm, tomorrow's day and this and that, nothing about the respecting of your elders, and shame on Gah! She left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. Oh, yeah. Wink, we wink. Can... Nudge, security nudge. camera. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Nick! Maybe we can see that photo of Powers with this computer! Yeah, maybe! Should I try the computer? Try it! Yeah! Okay, let's give it a try! You know how to work these things, Nick? Looks like I just have to enter a few numbers. Let's see, first I need the date of the murder. It looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. One, that was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Please enter the number of the security camera. <gasps> I uh, can't remember. Was it 307? It's this one. There, entered. Uh, nothing happened. Hmm? Maybe I got the number wrong. Uh, maybe we should go look at that camera again. No, I'm uh, gonna do it again because it's one of those options. Nick! Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Try it. Okay, so we'll we... just try it again. 
Looks like I just have to enter a few numbers. Okay, so... That has been... So try this one. Okay. There! Enter! Aha! Hey! It printed out the data for that day! Let's see what we got. Oh! Hmm... Huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit, I guess. Guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Hmm, something's printed on the back. Huh? October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number 2. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day? Hmm, nope. That's the only one in the computer. Power's photo added to the court record. Hey! Hey, Nick! Can't we use this photo for evidence in the trial? Yeah! We'll put that security lady in her place with this! Right! We'll put her in her place. Hey! That's what I said! Anyway... Let's show her this photo and see what she says! Wait! Let's not... Oh, why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Oh, Nick! You're craftier than I gave you credit for! Why, you could be the next evil magistrate! Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke! So, are we done for today? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady. Hmm, maybe. Mm. To be continued! Although, that doesn't really matter, because we're going to keep going. October 18th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number four. Ooh, number four this time. Oh, no. Court is now in session <laughs> for the trial of Mr. Powers. Yes, Santa is the judge. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well. I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well. I call, uh, a most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Oh, no. Oh, great. Oh, this boy. Guy. Gumshoe, Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. Uh, to understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. Mm. Uh, the actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Past the security station is a gate, see? Past there are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack, the defendant, Will Powers, and a young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Hmm. So we got, uh... Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m., the production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. Ugh. Yeah. Haunting. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. Uh, that's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm, should I listen to the whole thing again? I don't know. I think I could probably remember that. 
so the murder weapon was a spear. Now, how medieval? I know. Samurai spear added to the court record. Your honor. This case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is... What did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand, please. It's interesting. She doesn't come to work until 1 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even go in the morning. Have fun, Amber. Will the oh, witness no. declare her name, please? Uh, hmm. Oh, my, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Your name, please. Oh, dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please. <laughs> Seems Edgeworth has a bit of a trouble getting this witness to say their names. <laughs> Windy old bag, dearie. So just call me Grandma. Now, even when I was young, I was uh, still other children. Were, but there was this boy, she called me old bag. <laughs> Objection! I object to the witness's talkativeness! Objection sustained! Oh, the witness will refrain from rambling on the stand! I was just getting to the good part, dearie! Perhaps we can get to the testimony, please? Now the witness was stationed on the main gate the day of the murder, correct? Yes, see, I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you, yes? You know your stuff, dearie. Um, <laughs> thank you. You may begin your testimony now, please. Thank you. She sure is one heck of an old bag. Wow, he became shaggy. Zoinks! <laughs> <laughs> Witness's testimony. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since the morning. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning, you know. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5 o'clock. Now, the murder had been right at 2.30 p.m., right? Well, interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. Hmm. You saw the defendant then. Interesting. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examination, witnesses account. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. So, up until that time, anyone who wanted to could go into the studio? Uh, well, I mean, there wasn't a security guard at the gate, so, no. <laughs> but the main gate was locked, dearie. You know, you need an employee key card to get in. Right, the key card that I have. <laughs> so what she's saying is no one was who wasn't supposed to be there could get in. Was there anyone at the studios when you arrived at the guard station? Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through since the morning. I will. I had some errands to run that morning, you know. <laughs> what kind of errands? Well, I mean, there was. Oh, well, you know. Answer the question. Actually, I was actually watching poor Hammer and Powers, observing, you know, like I do. Observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? Uh, whippersnapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? Did my job enough? I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I always watch Hammer's run-throughs, though. Always. Never missed one in all my years. Wow, I want to see a steel samurai run through too. You could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. <laughs> oh, that's not a bad idea. 
Wow. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. And I was at the main gate from then until five. Now, the murder happened at 2.30, right? How did you know that? Oh, <laughs> well, I have my ways. That overdressed young detective, he told me. I fed him some donuts and he talked and talked. If you ask me, that detective isn't cut out for his job. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> Poor Detective Gumshoe getting ratted out by a security guard. Ouch! Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man there, and he was heading towards the studio. So you saw Mr. Powers? Uh, that's what I said. You got wax in your ears, Sonny? Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull the secret weapon. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot what the secret was. The Powers is. photo. Oh yeah, because it doesn't actually show his face. Yep. Ah. It won't let me use it yet. Oh, okay. I'll say it again, it was him! I still can't present it yet. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. I think it'll let you present. Yeah, I think it should let me do it now. Objection! Objection! Let me get this straight, old bag. Uh, I mean, Miss Old Bag. Hey! You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? Well, you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. Whoa, it just got real in here. Oh, yeah. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo, Your Honor. Miss Old Bag. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Uh, uh, of course! Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Mr. Powers, right? No, they can't! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, um, well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. Huh? What? I, I know that! I, mean, I wasn't born yesterday! No one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss, er, uh, um, witness. He's having a trouble calling her old bag, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> However, you don't have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? <laughs> Nosy old man! Of course I have proof! What? Huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised! The prosecution would like to ask the old, uh, the witness, please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I supposed to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you! Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. She looks angry, Amber. Oh. <laughs> now she's gone. Ah, I showed that photo to the young detective! And he told me, this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Ah! Wow, old wingbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. <laughs> well, let's hear about your proof then. Uh. Witnesses testimony, the man in the photo. Okay. I never say anything. I don't mean much. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. <laughs> Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now, look at that picture. You can see that he is dragging his leg. See? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy now? Whoa!
Hmm, so he had a sprained ankle. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. She's gotta be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Cross-examination, the man in the photo. Here we go. I never say anything that I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. He broke a prop? Oh, uh, sure did. His own samurai spear. His samurai spear? The murder weapon. Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. Samurai spear added to the court record. Hmm. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. You can see he's dragging his legs, see? Clear as day! That's how I knew it was powers, Happy! Will Nick find any glaring contradictions? Hmm. Well, she seems pretty sure that Powers was in that photo. I guess I'll just press her and see if I can shake her conviction. Hmm, okay. So, we did that one already. Trip and fall? Yes, and to think he's supposed to be the steel samurai. I mean, what a laugh. So Power sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better? Oh, well, I, I kissed it where it hurt. Let's <laughs> skip over that part, shall we? Oh my god. <laughs> Um, where was the assistant then? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, her! Well, she was cleaning up backdrops or something, I think. She didn't know about Power's ankle at the time. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. Hmm. Oh, well, so he broke one of the props and it was a huge mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Hmm, not so bad that he couldn't walk around, mind you. Well, he went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Thus the nap. <laughs> Thus the nap. <laughs> anyway, I saw him dragging his foot, and when he walked... Dragging his foot, okay. I think we've heard enough. Huh? Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is? Where's the Steel Samurai costume now? Um, hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. What? The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes? Um, and it is clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. What? Hmm, I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? Hmm. Um... Guess we could go with, uh... <laughs> Object! Yeah. Hold it right there! We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else uh, not caught on the camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice, dearie. Oh boy. Testimony, witnesses account. It continues. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. True. The only person I saw go through the studio before then was Will Powers. 
No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. So, if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be the Samurai Steel who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. I gotta stroke my beard while I yeah, hear the old I man. Know, it's like... That's oh, funny. okay. That's so cute. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. The only person I thought go through the studio before then was Will. Are you absolutely sure? Uh, oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody suspicious looking past by at all. Nobody suspicious looking, <gasps> right. Notice she said suspicious looking. So maybe somebody did go through. Mm hmm What about before you got to the guard station? Ah. You mean before 1 p.m.? Hmm. What? Everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so nobody could get in. Hmm. Not to mention... I mean, if they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. No one else went there. But doesn't our photo say number two? Yeah. Just try it. Objection! Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Ah, uh, yes sir, is, Sonny. So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture, is that correct? Oh, uh, and here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Whoa. Looks like you do know something. Right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all the security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening for you, I mean... That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back, the photo is printed the words, October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number 2. Even I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October 15th. I mean, really, Sonny? Actually, I know that too. Huh? The issue here is the bit at the end where it says, photo number 2. Photo number 2? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it really was the only photo? Oh, order, order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. What? Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. Uh oh. The evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Trace the data for the other photo. Only someone with access, the security lady herself. <gasps> ah, me, you, will you watch your mouth, you, you whippersnapper? The only person I saw that day was Will Powers, I'd say, Will. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Huh? Well, uh, 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 yes, but that's, I mean, what would it, I mean, seem to mean, but, uh... Can the witness explain this to the court? Uh, well, <laughs> I don't understand these newfangled computer things. <laughs> Itchy boy, help me! Oh, <laughs> believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. You are! You're a whippersnapper, too! Uh... Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Old Bag. Ah, that's right. I, uh, I just remembered something. Obviously, time for a revision of the testimony. Uh, Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai. Uh, well, uh, yes, I mean, I, su I suppose you could put it that way. Everybody's whispering. <sighs> I see. Your testimony, please, again. Oh, this is a circus. 
Yep, I know. She keeps revising it. So, like I was saying, every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one uh, other important job to do. I go through the photos, record it on the security computer, and I check them. And then I throw out any photos that aren't, you know, suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it now, I, I do remember throwing out one photo that day. <laughs> Miss Old Bag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I mean, I just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. This is fun. <laughs> All right, here we go. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos, record it on the security computer, and I check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Hold it! How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Mm. Oh, well, you can tell by looking at their faces. For the most part. Oh my gosh. For the most part? <sighs> this is a murder trial, Miss Old Bag. Well, I don't touch that suspicious looking Will Powers photo, did I? Now. I think this is missing the point. Come to think of it now, I remember throwing out one photo that day. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased, huh? Hmm, a fanboy. Fanboy? Ah, the Steel Samurai fanboys, real freaks. If you ask me, they get information about the rehearsals for gosh knows where. They're almost hanging about. One was there that day. Objection! Wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your <laughs> words, lady. <laughs> well, if you must know, there is a tray that goes into the employee area. And, eh. Oh. The grade had been loose for a while. It leads outside, and well, there's where they came in. They came in through the drain? Oh, I told you they were freaks! I mean, God, and, uh... And? Well, I mean, they're kids! Children! Whippersnappers! Kids? <laughs> so, on the photo that you erased... It was a boy. Probably second or third grade. What? Order! Order! Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gates on their way to the studios that day. One was the steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Oh, yes. Well, we see this type here every day, really. Can't stop him, can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade. Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not possible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Even I can't lift it. Right! As I said, I didn't much pay attention to him or much mind. That's why I raised the data. Oh, Nick, what's going on? We're in trouble. That's what's going on. I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> I don't know. October 18th, 1108, District Court, Defendant Lobby. Lobby number three. Mr. Powers. Yeah. Tell me straight, were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I didn't go to the studio, I, I was sleeping. Honest. So, 
was the still samurai, and that security photo. How should I know? The steel samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better care of your stuff! I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a steel samurai costume. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. <laughs> You're the only likely suspect right now, big guy. Nick! What, what are we gonna do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Hmm. Right! And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day! Right. But if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You you don't sound very optimistic. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. Yeah. Of course, still Sam. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, Nick, it's time. Oh, it's time? Well, anyway, guys and gals, that is actually going to do it for this episode. We will see you guys tomorrow. Let's do this. Okay, let's go. <sighs> I know. Oh, what does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple, Your Honor. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy oh, of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence. But there is still one, no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts? Uh, the defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim, Your Honor. There is another person who could have committed the crime. That's uh -oh. right! What are, what are you doing, Nick? Uh, we have to... Luke, remember we decided we have to accuse someone else. Oh, right, 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 right. Order! Interesting! Let's hear who you have in mind, however. Be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Uh, right, oh. great! As if stakes weren't high enough. So, who is this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the murder? Okay, don't <laughs> say the boy. <laughs> I Don't say the assistant girl, because she couldn't have hold it either. The security lady. Yeah. It was the security lady, Wendy Oldbag. <laughs> the steel samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the morning's injury. Maybe because... They had been watching the action scene run through. <gasps> there was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Old Bag. What? Whippersnappers! Order! Order! Uh, is this true, Old Bag? Old Bag! That's Ms. Old Bag to you! Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai costume. Wow. Whoa. Then slipped into the Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why? Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in this costume, she would could point the finger to Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh, yeah. Right here, Sherlock Holmes 2, baby. <laughs> huh? That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damaging evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? Hmm. The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. Oh my gosh! What? 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 What's that supposed to mean? 
Oh, so you think I did it? Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there. Do something! It's my move. Maybe now's my chance to take this a whole other way. Let's press further. <laughs> Whoa! The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day as well. <gasps> but why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forgot that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. Oh. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute! What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy. Yeah, the one whose photo I erased. <laughs> He's only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, wasn't it? That doesn't matter! When I was that age, I could pin my own bed in ten seconds tops! Hmm, your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? <laughs> How could you be so sure? Oh, is it be nice to the kids and me, dear Elder's Day? You whippersnapper! I have proof. Indeed. And let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder. Hmm. Um, the Probably the samurai, samurai spear. Sword. Yeah. Or... Your Honor, the murder weapon was a samurai spear. That very spear is shown here in this photo. How could the boy have taken the spear? It's impossible. I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? Uh -huh. The windbag speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. The court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Okay. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy. What was her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. Oh my god. That is all. The court is adjourned. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nicely played, Nick. Wait, wait a second. I'm not going to just sit here while you run up barking up the wrong tree, which is me. I'm talking. Uh -huh. oh. oh, great. Stop the presses, the windbag wants to talk. Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Not to talk about? By whom? Huh, you mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? That's a first. Well, testify! Testify, girl, testify. <laughs> Just so My lips were sealed. Yeah. Oh. Local studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were, well, some other people at the studio on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, you see. So they told me to just pretend that they hadn't been at the studio that day. But if your butt up can go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free! Okay. Missile bag! This is crucial information! Why did you keep this from the court until now? So he's so stunned! Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap! And I always do what I'm told! Mm. Except for in this courtroom, which I withheld. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please! Okay, here we go. Wow, my she lips changed were her sealed. Oh yeah, of course she did. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were, well, some other people in the studio the day of the murder. Excuse me, who, who were these people? Well, the director and, and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. 
How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course! Yes, well, I was surprised. No one asked about it! So, where are these people? Where were they, I mean? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime, and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer, of course. Studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map, I mean, here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path where the... No, that, that's me. Oh, yes. Yeah, the sorry. path where the monkey's head was fallen over? Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... Mm. Take a... Okay. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been in the studio all day. But if you're gonna go accusing me, I'm not letting them... Them? Who are these people? Oh, well, the director and the producer, for starters. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. The director? Yeah, I'm sorry. We should have known something was fishy. Wait! I'm getting a sense of deja vu! Yeah, so am I. But oh, yeah, we... I forget things all the time, I'm old. Where? <laughs> In Studio 2. Studio 2? I just went over this, Sonny. If you mm. took a look at the guide map, it's right here. I okay, okay, okay. This, but I am getting old. So, I guess the correct option was take a break. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you want to do? I think we've already asked all the questions, so let's take a break. My bad. Your Honor? Uh, we have learned there were others at the Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and, uh, some bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. He's manipulating the judge. I hold that that is an impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. All right, the court acknowledges the defense's point. Well, the prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag. And more information about these other people we have just been told of. Surprising. Uh -huh. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. The court is adjourned. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go watch reruns of the Signal Samurai. <laughs> Good day. Yep, that was the correct option. My bad, people. Sorry, this is blind. Well, there's no way you don't know. Well, I mean, actually, technically, I played the DS game many, many years ago, but... Thanks so much for that, Mr. Wright! Ha ha ha! I was right to ask you to defend me, bud! He's happy. Oh, really? It's nothing. <laughs> or should I... <sighs> well, uh, I'll be going down to the studios to do more investigating. Oh, sorry, that's me. We'll be going down to do more <laughs> investigating. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain now. So now's my chance to get the material for the cross-examination. So Nick, have we figured out just what well, was in that steel samurai costume? Could it really have been old windbag? <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there, so... Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. <laughs> Poor old windbag. I kind of feel sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there without uh, my accusation, so... Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right! We'll be back to visit you soon! Thanks, guys. <laughs> Aww, he's happy. He's very happy. He just likes doing the show for the kids. October 18th, Wright and Company Law Offices. Okay. Oof, what a day, man. I know. This is no time for relaxing, Nick! 
Huh? Say, you think WP's got a chance? I guess. That really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. Wait, WP? The director and producer? Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing in here then? Let's get to the studios! Oh, first we should probably go. Let's go see how our buddy's doing. October 18th, Detention Center. Oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. Aww. Hey, not at all. We got lucky to tell the truth. You can say that again. <laughs> Let's not. So, WP, do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Um, uh, sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I guess he's we'll go to the... Crying. I know. Well, I mean, he's being accused of something terrible, so... Yeah. Oh, boy. All right, so the Global Studios again. No one's here. Right. Now that we have Miss Oldbag in custody, I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey! In the guard station, look! She left her donuts! Uh, what? Oh, and I wasn't gonna eat them! Yes, you were! You liar! You can't prove that, Nick! Looks like a studio van. You probably use it to carry stuff around. Okay, we already... this one. The main entrance. They probably have police officer on patrol out there. I doubt it. Alright, so let's move to... Uh... Outside Studio One. Hmm. Okay. Hey, Nick! Yeah, that was you. It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today! You're right! <laughs> Sorry. He's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. I feel kind of bad. So, Nick, remember that Studio Two we heard about at the trial today? It was down that path with a fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. That's our chance, Nick! Let's check it out! Okay. Outside Studio 2. Huh. October 18th, the Studio 2 entrance. This is Studio 2? I thought so. It doesn't really look like much of a studio, does it? No, that it does not. Hey, there's a trailer over there. It looks pretty sturdy for a movie set trailer. Are we sure this is a studio? Well, let's examine first. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty! They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close, that fence looks dangerous. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. <gasps> oh my gosh. Nick, let's go inside! You think it's okay? Oh well, it's locked. Aw, shucks! One of those things is bent. You're right. Oh, we can't examine it, though. Yeah. Uh, let's see, is there anything else we can... What's this? These look like materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This might as well be a junkyard. Hmm, that's true. So, okay, let's look at the building itself. On closer inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think this is part of some temporary film set. Mm. Anything else for us to click on here? So we looked at that. Oh, well, there's a table. It looks like two people ate here. Oh. There's nothing left on the plates, though. Hey, so they eat T-bone steaks, too. What is it with you and steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. What? I, I don't know. It just feels odd. Hmm. That's true. Is there anything else? It doesn't look like we can examine anything else. So, whoop. 
No. <laughs> See how the cursor's not, like, bringing up anything new for us to look at? We could go back to Studio One, or... Yeah, let's do that. Studio One. October 18th, Studio One. I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it's the murder scene. I want to go someplace else, Nick. <sighs> we already examined everything here. There's an outline where Jack's hammer's body fell. Inside the magistrate costume. Funny, I expected the spear stabbing to leave some blood stains. Yeah, and it didn't. Yeah. Uh, what's this big thing over here? That's for reflecting light. Huh. What? Where's your enthusiasm? Oh, that's right. You've already done this. Well. I think she's being serious. Yeah. You yeah, I be. guess we already checked this. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't really know where we're supposed to go. Maybe you go back to the dressing room, or...? In the trial, they said Studio 2 was down this path. The monkey head is in the way, but we should be able to get by without any problems. This monkey head is really heavy! Well, it did knock that tree over when it fell. Both of these, the monkey head and the tree, fell the day of the murder, didn't they? Yeah, and that's what Detective Gumsu said, too. Hmm. There's not much going on here. Let's go back to the front gate. Hmm. Or we could go... Maybe talk to... Oh, the employee area. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. That's right. Global Studios employee area. Look! It's that assistant girl! Hey! Oh, hey. WP's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys. Oh? Oh! <laughs> Don't mention it! Uh... Is it true they caught the security lady? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, she just called me. Ooh. She told me to cover up that drain. You mean that one? Wow, what a mess. I... I know. I'm not so good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and the backdrops, right? R right. <laughs> Just lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. Oh, oh, well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right. I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. <laughs> um, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Old Bag. Right! We'll see you later, then! Good luck with your investigation. Okay, let's examine this area now. Cool. Awesome. There's a half-finished backdrop for a stage here. Looks like a castle. Ooh. Probably Neo-Old Tokyo Castle. Okay. Ooh, there's a bike. Bike. Looks like one of those electric-powered bicycles. Ooh, I want one. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It helps. It makes it a lot easier to go up hills! Don't people cycle to get exercise? Well, I mean... You would think so. I don't know. The remains of other days' lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of them, minus the steak. Okay, so you that You can was... also use bicycles if you want to save gas money. Yeah, that's true. Anything else we can click on? Um... That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow, Nick! You know a lot about the industry! Um, what else would they keep in a film studio? Deja vu. Yep. So, and the they're... drain. So, the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today, he came in through that drain? So it seems. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey! Hey, Nick! Yeah, what's up? If that drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in! Oh, yeah! I think that was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him, though. Don't you? What? You want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick? Can we? 
Whoa, whoa, she's serious. Uh-oh. Well, rip it rip open! It open. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken. Yes, I feel... Yay! You know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes? <laughs> Hiya! There, that should make the kids happy. The things we do... The drain gate is off. Great. And I know who did it! <laughs> <laughs> now the kids will be able to come in again! Doesn't it make you feel great to do a good deed like that? Must be nice to live so free of guilt! <laughs> okay. We well, did our good deed today. I know, there's really nothing else. Dressing Let's go to the main room. gate. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, haha! <laughs> you look a little out of place. Um, it's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of alternative guard fashion thing. <laughs> okay. So, how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want me to disturbing evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the steak bones left over on them in the employees area? Yeah. Can you believe it? Do kids sneak in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see old Windbag's eyes flash when he, she sees him. She has a bit of trouble catching him, though. <laughs> because he's so small. I heard something at the trial today. They said that the director and producer were here the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't really see them. I guess they were here, though. The studio head seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director... More the producer, really. The producer's our real star here. She saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? Mm. Interesting. Thank you, Penny, for your very informative information. All right, we can go to the dressing room now. Um, let's see. This way, and then move to... Yeah, the dressing room. Oh? Uh, we, uh, we, you first! Who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me! Whatever! How can Jai not know the great Salmonella? <laughs> oh my gosh! I make these shows, the Steel Samurai, mine! Read the film credits! Really? You're the Salmonella? Oh, I'm so sorry. I just, you look so, uh, sorry. No, quite all right, really. It's fine, Rolf. <laughs> I'm sorry, I... Uh. Well, what is it? You know, on closer inspection... Mmm, yes, hot, hot, hot. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of cosplay, because that costume rocks. <laughs> Rockstars! What? You're drooling! Hmm, what? <laughs> Buffer overrun pain! You've triggered my creative power! Yes, it's coming to me! Pink Princess! The sequel to Steel Samurai! Pink Princess, Warrior of Little Old Tokyo! Pink Princess! LOL! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow, I, this guy's. Pink Princess? Why? It's gotta be Little Old Tokyo! Look at I have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo! Maya, we really need to talk about cool? Oh, wow. Oh, okay, so he wants her to be the sequel or something. Yep. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Well, I know, I just, uh, do see her. The security lady told me about us, eh? That's right. 
Well, it was pretty regular day. We had a run through for an action scene in the morning. Then a meeting from lunchtime in Studio 2 trailer. <laughs> I was busy. I didn't even get a chance to eat my lunch. Mm. Uh, T-bone steak, was it? Yeah! Sucks, right? I hate missing out on food. <laughs> Nick, what does suck sores mean? No idea. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon until four. With the producer and some bigwigs from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30. If he's telling the truth, that meeting gives him an alibi. Hmm. About the producer who was at the meeting with you. Oh, you mean D. Vesquez. Oh, she's a genius. Mad skills. All the way. Scary, though. She brought, uh, bought these studios back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it impossible for me to make... Made it possible for me to make the Steel Samurai. Uh, so you had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yep, we were together from noon until four the whole time. There's an alibi. The bigwigs. Who exactly are these bigwigs people keep mentioning? Whoa, the bots over at the network and some sponsors. Also a few production guys. They piled into a limousine and got here right around noon. Major tension. Um, were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all gray-haired geezers. Hmm, sounds like they'd all be reliable witnesses. Hmm. Okay. Uh... Yeah, ones. Pretty sure that's everything, so... Yeah, I guess so. Let's I go guess. to Studio... Studio 2 again, maybe? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna think, because he mentioned Studio 2. I don't know. I mean, there's probably still nobody there, though. Good. It means there's more for us to do. So, we go to Outside Studio 1, move to Studio 2. October 18th, Studio 2 entrance. This place is deserted. Huh? Huh? Ah! Nick! What was that noise? It sounded like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside! H hello No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick! Let's go in! Wait, no, that's a bad idea. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh? It's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No, but there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. Then what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it! If they'll let us. Alright, so now we gotta go back to the main gate. This is fun, just moving all over the place. I know. Uh, main gate. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's her! You again! How rude! Acting like you've seen a ghost! You, you certainly got back to your post qu quickly! Oh! The police took me away, did they did? They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume! Told me to put it on! Can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit? Mr. Powers is pretty tall! That's, that's me, Amber. Oh. That's Phoenix. Mr. Powers is pretty tall. Oh, sorry. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. I guess that would rule out her being the murderer. <laughs> anyway, know this, whippersnapper. This old lady never forgets a slight or an insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot for someone who's with sealed lips. Sorry. <laughs> Starting now. One, two, three. Hm. This lady's too much. Okay. Well, she's not going to talk to us. That's just fantastic. But she already has been talking to um, us. About that kid you said you saw. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious! About the director, the one who was here on the day of the murder. If I see him again, I'm taking him down! Nick! I think she's losing it! <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, 
I think it's we should move employee area. Oh! Hey! You're already doing enough characters. Hey, I, I can handle. Wait! I bet he came in right through that drain. That's. Hey, um, Hideo! What's your name, sport? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. Huh? Huh? But you. you are a kid! What a rude little brat! There's no way to talk to an adult! I don't see any adults here, hippie fashion chick! <laughs> oh my gosh! They're yeah, hippie fashion! Nick, I think I'm being mocked! <laughs> you got to hand it to Maya! She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. She's crying, actually. I'm Cody, Cody Hawkins! Call me kitty -o again, and I'll cut you down where you stand, evildoer! <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. Steel Samurai. So you're a fan of the Steel Samurai, I take it. How dare you utter that name, evildoer! <laughs> what do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai side! Ha! Ha 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 ha! You can't fool me! <laughs> okay, then what's the last line said by the innkeeper in episode 8? Ha! Huh, easy! Like some fries with that? Oh, well, not bad, kiddo. 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 Watch it! What are they doing? Uh, say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? Huh. You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? Uh, he... He... Huh? He... He always! The Steel Samurai always wins! Always! Yeah, I saw him! I saw everything! What? But no way am I telling you, losers! Well, wait! Let me go! Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, That's actually difficult. He's gone! Oh, something fell off the table when he bumped into that on his way out. A bottle? Why was this thing there, I wonder? Empty bottle slipped into the pockets. Slipped into your pockets. Anyway, what was that kid saying? He said he saw everything. Okay. Uh... I don't know what we're supposed to do now. The kid just left. Okay, so, well, if he left, I mean, maybe we can beat him at the main gate? Huh. Where's that old windbag? I ought of her to leave her post. It always oh. says the name, Amber. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. I ought of her to leave her post. Apparently Amber can't read. Ooh. Nick, that was her! Stop, stop, whippersnapper! Yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Nick! Uh-oh, she tripped! Maybe Maya sure looks happy. Okay, so... Uh... I don't know where else... I guess we can go... Maybe back to the employee area. You have anything to say? Nope. Hmm, so the old bag came back. Nothing here. Mm, she trips. I don't know what that means. Like, can we... She fell down? I know, but does that mean we can look at her computer or something? I don't know. You can check her computer. Hey, Nick, now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh, this is it, Nick. Ooh. The trailer key. The key to that trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? <laughs> the trailer key slipped into your pocket. Oh, I'm sure it slipped. Okay, now. Now we can go to that trailer. Uh... Sorry, I keep reading your lines. My contacts are a little fuzzy. A likely story. Oh, wait. Well, we're at studio. What is this? 
An incinerator, apparently. They just put this one in. It's already covered in soot. They must not clean it much. Unless they, like, destroyed a costume or something. Mm. A light van for moving staff and equipment around. Keep it in pretty good shape, so it looks like it'd run fine. Well, let's go for a drive! Sure, if I had a license. Ride a bike, remember? Nick, you don't have a driver's license? But look, I have this! Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? Something to do? Okay... How do I move uh, to that weird... Yeah, we're supposed to move to that trailer. Yeah. Outside Studio 2. I can't really examine anything else here. Wait, through the gate. No. No clues here! Slide to the left with L? Oh! I forgot I could do that. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. Hmm. It opened. Wait! Let's go, Nick! She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick! Ah, uh, not that eager. I'll stay back here. <gasps> Inside the trailer. Uh-oh. October 18th, Studio 2 trailer. Hmm. Me! Oh, someone's in here! Yeah, Maya. Names. Oh, our names? Um, well, we're WP's lawyers, and, um... I see. Hmm. And who might you... D. Vasquez, the producer. D. Vasquez? Man, she's quite beautiful. I guess we'll talk to her. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder? Miss hmm. hmm. Vesquez? Script. Uh, excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. Uh, a, a script? The Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. Okay. Um... We're getting nowhere fast. Try this. Um, we'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai! Miss Vasquez? It's on TV. Every week. Wow, she is cold. That's all I have to say about that. Okay. Nick! She's telling us to go watch TV! The nerve of her! Hey, don't get mad at me! Uh, about the director, Sal Manella, was it? What er, exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick! All people in the entertainment business this... weird? It's starting to look like it! Nick, let's get out of here! Isn't there someplace else we have to check? Yeah! Wait... Yes? If you see Manila, give him this. Why do we have to do your errands? <laughs> I don't think I like her. Don't don't cry. She, she'll take it as a sign of weakness. All right, we'll give it to him if we see him. Vasquez memo added to the court record. All right, we're getting out of here, creepy lady. She's mean. Yep. Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney on K-Wing's Let's Plays. Yay! And it's time for us to play Messenger Boy for the creepy producer lady. So we have some type of memo that we got to give to Salmonella. Uh, oh, oh, wait, no, that's the trailer. So we got to go. Uh, 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 it's so hard for me to navigate around this place. I guess it's... Uh... 
No. You gotta go to the main gate, and then from the main gate, you go to the, the employee area. Employee there we go. The employee area, that's it. Uh. Then we move to his dressing room, which apparently the producer is in Willpower's dressing room. I know, that makes a lot of sense, weird. right? Oh, I think we just have to present, present it, right? So we I got didn't... autopsy, guide map, trailer key, memo. Vasquez's memo. Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring me the script for episode 13. Episode 13? Where did I put that one? Uh, well, I must have left it somewhere. <laughs> uh, uh-oh. My butt is pwned if I don't find it! <laughs> Nick! It might be quicker to just look in all the places where it's likely to have been! Oh, no. I agree! Uh, the places where he's been? Oh, boy. Wait, we have to look for his script? Yep. Why? Why? Uh, that's a good question. Maybe hmm. the kid took it. Why? The kid would take it? Really? I don't know, like, you'd be getting a script from the Steel Samurai. That's true, I mean, that's gotta be like a collector's item or something. I had a script from Star Wars when I was a super fan. Let's see, cola candy? No. Huh, it's so normal. Yeah, we already did this. Wait, look! Samurai soda! Nick, try this! Be my guest! Okay! Oh, too bad it's sold out! Haha. Uh -huh. That's what you get. Alright, so... Where could... Oh, I think I have an idea where you could... Not the dressing room. Back to the studio main gate. Move to... Outside Studio One. Move uh... to... Studio One itself. Oh, maybe he left it there. Oh, we're back at the scene of the crime! Let's find what we need and get out of here quick, Nick! Yeah, she's creeped out. I'm sorry. That looks like something there in the chair. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in! I've always wanted to sit in one of these! The director? Maya! Take a look around that chair for me, would you? Remember that script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he left it somewhere? Aha! Found it, Nick! The script! Good work! The script placed in a pocket. Okay, so that was the script. Good to know. Now... It's placed in your pocket, but it's still there. Oh, this one has a lot of different places to visit, doesn't it? Mm. Crazy. Yep. Creepy statue. Studio. Oh, wait, no. No, I'm jumping the gun. We gotta go back we and talk to, to the director. We have to go to the... We have to do everything main... in order. We have to go back to the main gate, and then go to the employee area, and then go to the trailer. Why is he in Will Power's dressing room? I have no idea. Present... Dirty script! Yep. We found your script. Woo! Thanks! <laughs> Still, uh, I don't know. That woman is, uh, gonna be... gonna proofread when bringing something to her late. I think that's what it was, I don't Based? know. Say, um, do you think a dudes could take it down her... there? Thanks. Is that producer really that scary? Well, she's certainly not normal. Oh. Wait, he doesn't want to take the script to the producer? Uh, he's creeping me out. Let's go. I do not want to be in this dressing room. <laughs> he's so freaky. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, I uh, guess that's how movie people are. I guess. I don't know. I mean, they are over-exaggerating everything. Go to Studio 2. Oops. And you have to push. Yeah, yeah there we, we go. got to slide, 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 slippity so slide. Oh my gosh. Okay, she's not going to talk to us until we give her the script. Ah. Yeah, she's pretty rude. Here, we found it! Your script! Ah. Script handed to D. Vesquez. Hmm. Hmm? Um... You're not going to talk to us, are you? Quiet. I'm reading. Ah! Just you hold on! 
on, what's the big idea? Who do you think you are anyway? And what do you even know who we are? Was that even English? <laughs> Powers lawyers. Um, right. Am I a suspect? No, it's just, well, no, but, uh... You wanted to know about the day of the murder. Yes, anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know, there was a meeting here at noon. Yes, with the director and the people from the network, correct? Correct. Now, listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The, the path? Okay. A blocked path. On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked? You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M M Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head. Oh, right, that! What an original name, huh? <laughs> its head fell off in the wind on the day of the murder. Spooky. They, they didn't start moving the head out of the way until after 3 p.m. It was after 4 by the time the path was unblocked. Capisce? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer. Stuck until after 4 p.m. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. Mm. What? It's true. A crane just came after 3 p.m. to move the head. We called some people in to clear the way, and I'm sure they'd corroborate my story. But wait! What if the head fell over after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30, the time of death. Very well. Come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time in ooks. Ooks. One ook per hour. Ook, 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 ook. Always with the ook. It is a monkey, after all. I mean, it's kind of what they do. Hmm. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Ah! Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15? That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 until after 4. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio One at 2.30. See? Goodbye. Mr. Monkey's head data was added to the court record. Mr. Monkey. What did we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. Oh, It's over! We're finished! Sure doesn't look good. I guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. Well, he just told us where we're supposed to go, so... Uh, studio main gate. Move to our offices. October 18th, Wright and Company Law Offices. Hmm. Now that we're fresh out of clues, everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. Uh, uh, you can do it if you want. It's a little too early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. Ah! Mia! It's you! 
Stop doing that! Oh my gosh. What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Right. Oh, wait. I, I guess that means we're really in trouble. <laughs> I'd say so. What did you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. The boy? Oh, right. Cody, yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But no way am I telling you losers. My little kid voice means so much to be desired. It's <laughs> cute. I don't know. He didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. Wait, 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 wait. You're coming with us? Well, that's going to be weird. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks. Now I'm more worried than ever before. Ghost of Mia? Maya? Whoever you are, studio main gate. Uh-oh. Uh, Crazy lady again. There's so many women in this episode. I know. Whoa, 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 what's wrong? Whipper snapper! Oh, she's been chasing this boy the whole time. Ha <laughs> ha! When I catch him! Sounds like she still hasn't had any luck catching poor Cody. Uh, I got a hostage now, whippersnapper! A hostage? Nani? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh boy. What happened to the boy? If I see him again, lay him flat! Why? What a violent old lady. Actually, I met with the director just now. Uh, ah, my heart! I don't feel so good. Is she okay? Before I go, I'd like to b visit the place where poor Hammer died. Right. She was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. What's this about a hostage? <sighs> when the boy was running away, he dropped this and ran. <sighs> He'll come back <sighs> for this one. It's kind of hard to understand her with all that huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we give him that. Good idea. Miss Oldbag, might I? No! I'm catching that brat if it's the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? A trade? Hmm. I wonder. Um, we could give her the card key back. Studio One? Right, a card key st to Studio One. Ah. I could visit poor Hammer. I'd like to visit. He died. I was his. his fan. You don't have your own card, Miss Oldbag? Uh, Studio One is. isn't my turf. You let me borrow? Borrow it then? If I give her the card key, then I won't be able to get into Studio One. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Oldbag. Card keyed lent to Miss Oldbag. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't have like having debts to no whippersnappers. Okay, so you take this and we're even, deal? What's this? A Steel Samurai trading card! That sneaky kid dropped it. <laughs> I figured it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I may have a use for this, actually. 
This must be the hostage she was talking about. Steel Samurai court card added to the court record. Mm -hmm. Right! Well, I'm off! There she goes, hobbling off toward the studio. Yep. Okay, so we can't go to Studio One anymore. Um... Oops. I guess... Go see the director again. Global Studios employee area! Ah! Oh my gosh! Hey! Hey you! W wait a second! Hmm. Phoenix! Was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Hackens. I think he ran into the dressing room. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense why we go to the dressing room, though. I forgot how to do Mia's voice now. Uh, she's been dead a while. We've been at this all day, so... He's sure to be in here somewhere. Found you! Ugh! Darn it, he's getting away! Come back! There, he's back! How did she... Ugh. Hey there, would you mind helping us out? Please? Not, I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo! <laughs> and I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? <laughs> Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. Okay, I guess I'll talk to him. The Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he's, um, the bomb. Ha! What would a lamer like you know about the Steel Samurai? <laughs> hey, I, I watch that attitude. Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. But, yeah, don't yell like that. I'm only a kid, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, so, do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. Mm, looks like a little persuasion's necessary. Maybe a bribe? Okay. Take that! Oh. Yeah. I had to present. present. Oh, yeah. Take that! Cody! This look familiar? Hey! My you are! You are? Huh? You are, you know, ultra rare. The card's really hard to get. Oh. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. Uh, I'll give you this if you help me out. But that's my card! By offering me something I already own, you're in effect... ...eschewing the very basis of our consumer society! Namely, the principle of fair trade! Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb! Oh my god. What do I... ...they do to teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? Whatever. <laughs> I don't need that card. Huh. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. Heh <laughs> heh. What? After I went through all that trouble? If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. What? Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? <laughs> ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on, Grandpa. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. <laughs> oh my gosh. Premium rare? Why do I feel like we're talking about steaks? Great. Where am I going to find a premium rare Oh, forget it. Oh my god. Well, it's on the hunt we go, kids. How are we going to find a random How am I supposed to know? And we can't around. even go into Studio One anymore. Ugh. I don't know. Uh, well, we can still go to Studio Two. Well, uh, at least I'm not stepping on your lines anymore. Hooray! Good job. <laughs> um... Hello? I don't want to go in there. This trailer's scary. I know, right? We have to go inside, don't we? October 18th, Studio 2 trailer. Oh, yay! Oh, hi. She's fun. Hello. What brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. 
Um. Yes. The um girl with you doesn't she seem a little different? Like is she even the same person as before? Um. Nope. Uh, she's the same as always. <laughs> uh. Same as always. Okay. Well, whatever you say. Wow. Nobody is like okay. <sighs> Are all the posters on the wall here of Mr. Hammer? Uh, yes. They're really a terrible loss for the studios. But his popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... After what happened? Oh, you mean you don't know about Hammer? No. What? Hmm. Well, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything then. Say something! What happened? Now I gotta know! Wait, no! Now you have to tell me what happened with Hammer! Uh, I'm... I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Oh... Why do I get the feeling something's being covered up here? Great. Alright, so let's talk about the fanboy then! Come on, Penny! S spill it! Have you seen that boy since then? Nope. You missed it, though. The security lady was chasing around him around that boy so fast, I thought she'd collapse. <laughs> of course, he got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fist back at the guard station. Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. Okay. Um, maybe Penny has ultra rare stuff. Probably not. I don't see anything about... I mean, we could try to give her the card, see what happens. I don't know. Do you know anything about this? Hey, that's a Steel Samurai trading card. I collect those, actually. Oh. Oh, oh okay. I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh. Wait! Wait, wait, wait! Wait! That's it! That's the card I need! You don't know how long I've been waiting for it! Wow, she actually came alive. Uh... Oh, I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am. I need that card! Please! I beg you! Please trade with me! T trade with you? Yes! Trade cards! Look, I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card. Trade, trade me, huh? Uh, okay. Yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare. Please! Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? Uh, what's everybody getting so excited about? Um, we'll trade. Well, that was weird. Okay. Really? Th th thanks! Then this is for you. URP card added to the court record. Ultra rare premium steel samurai collectible card. Very valuable. Whoa. Yahoo! And there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like make you feel great again, Nick? Yeah, yeah, I guess it does. Okay, that was completely random. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Yeah, Penny was, like, uh, so chill. Yeah, that. Penny was, like, the chillest of the chill. <laughs> and then everything... And she got into her trading cards. Wow. And everything was different. All right, so outside Studio One. Move to main gate. I guess everyone has something that they go crazy for. Yeah, totally. Um, Anything else to... Oh, we've done everything here. Everything here. Oh. What's this? An overhead map of the studios. Right from here is the employee area. To the left are the actual film studios. Okay, so there was hmm. really nothing else going on. Um, well, don't we have to find that kid again or something? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know where he is. He's probably hanging out in the employee area. I'm just, you know, double-checking stuff. Just, just in case. Um, he doesn't seem to be. He's inside of the, uh, the house. This thing. Oh! Will Power's dressing room. There's only a couple places you can actually go inside of. The door to the dressing room. It's not locked! This is where Cody ran. 
Let's go in and see if we can get him to talk. Yeah, that's sensible. Okay, so... B. Move. Dressing room! All, All right. right, there he is! Oh, oh, we have the ultra rare card, Cody! Take this! See this card? Yes! Wait! That's it! That's the last ultra rare premium card I need! Come on, give it to me, please! You gotta give it to me! Wow, I've never seen him so eager! Right! Uh, okay, how about a trade? You're on! I'll give you a samurai spear and throw in an evil magistrate to boot! No, 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 not that kind of trade. I don't want cards, I want information. Huh, you sure? Bye bye me, sucker. <laughs> URP card given to Cody. Okay, Phoenix. Let's hear what he has to say. If he knows something that could help us, we could have him make the last stand tomorrow. I mean, take the stand tomorrow, something. Oh, we can talk to him now? Sweet! So, you like the Steel Samurai, then? Ah, he's so cool, man! Uh, I guess. You're judging him by his looks. You have to look at his actions, at his life. I'm being lectured on life by a grade schooler. <laughs> what is wrong with me? You like him too, don't you? Uh, oh me? Y yeah, I, I love the Steel Samurai guy. So tell me what your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is. His kind nature, his fighting skills. Will Powers acting. Mm. We'll say his fighting skills. Gotta think of something. Hmm. I'd say his kind nature, but... I like it when he uh, vanquishes his foes. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, wazam! The Steel Samurai always wins. Always! Check this out. It's my fan album. Oh my gosh. Wow. What the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. Whoa. I got to go to every live performance. Those stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public? I always take pictures when the Steel Samurai lands in the final blow. What's damn? <laughs> I got them all. I never miss one. A perfect collection. Yatta! <laughs> Check it. My new digital camera. Wow, that's very impressive. The new model, isn't it? You bet, lady. I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name. Want to hear it? The Steel Samurai Path to Glory. The Steel <laughs> Samurai always wins. Always. Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with a digital camera. I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. Well then, I'm happy to accept. Thank you. Path to Glory received! Contains photos of every victory scene and every battle the Steel Samurai has ever won. Wow. wow. I can't believe he just gave it up. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life. I know, right? Hmm. Okay, so what happened, Cody? You were here on the day of the incident, right, Cody? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Uh... Cody? Uh... Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? You have to help us fight for great justice, too. Well, I... I saw... I saw everything. Well, well, we might get some useful information out of him yet! Ha-ha! All right, what did you see, you little scamp? Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident, buddy? Uh... I got here that day around, um, 2 p.m., I think. I had to come in through the woods. Out the back so that old lady wouldn't be able to see me. 
I got kind of lost, though. I was in there for maybe, I don't know, half hour or so. I don't know. Then I finally got to the studio. After that... What is it, Cody? The Steel Samurai killed the bad guy! He used his samurai spear, just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast, I got scared. I went home after that. I I see, it must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you weren't speaking from the heart. Um, right, uh, Mia? Yes? I think we can say for sure this means the stale samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So the only person left who could have it could be, well, Will Powers. Hmm. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty, for sure. Let's not call him, then. I think that would be very wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal! Oh, no. Aha! I heard everything! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. This boy here's a key witness, huh? And he's under police protection starting now. Come on, son! You gotta rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No, I ain't going. Wah! Oh, that didn't go so well. Face palm. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. Well, what are we gonna do, Maya? Mia? My name's Mia, by the way, but it's okay. Well, hmm. I really need to be going anyway. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa! C come to the trial tomorrow, please! I need you there! Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? I believe. Of course he is! Hmm. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court, then. Great! Thanks! M m my it's, Mia. It's Mia! Mia! See you soon. M Mia, yep, that's, that's you. Wow. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Hold it! Hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. Oh, yeah! On K-Wings Let's Plays. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, because today we're starting the day three of the Turnabout Samurai Trial. Ooh. So make sure you guys smash that like button, share this video with your friends, and tell us your favorite character in the comment section below. Special thanks to our friends over at Capcom for sending us a copy of this game and sponsoring the series. Yay. It's time for us to enter the courtroom and see that justice prevails. Steal just okay. Yeah. October nineteenth, nine forty-two, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. Oh no, this guy. Oh yeah. Uh, um, Mr. Wright. Yes. Well, what? Why do you look so unhappy? Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> uh, really, it, it's nothing to worry about, mostly. Right. Oh. Right? Mia? Maya? You? Ghost? Uh-oh. She looks even unhappier. Hmm. Phoenix. Your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him now. See, get the joke? Yeah, I get it. There's no time for dead people jokes, please, ghost. <laughs> you know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent... Oh, he is. We should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. All right, it's trial time. October 19th, 10 a.m., District Court. 
Courtroom number four. Number four. Yeah, we've been here. Oh. What happened to Maya? Mia? I know. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Uh, the defense is ready. Probably. <laughs> Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. <sighs> An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there was a... Uh, were other people present at the studios? Shocking. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if it'll be that producer. Mm. The prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manella to the stand. Oh my gosh. Or that director. Oh, this guy. Yep. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Will the witness state his name and profession, please? I can't wait to see how you... Okay. How rude! Can you get... Uh... Don't you know me? I'm the director! I make the Steel Samurai! Noob! Rolf! <laughs> so, so Salmonek Della, the uh, director of television... Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Y yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trial on that day did it. Trailer. Oh, Move in the trial. Right. Uh, she doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. I'm at trailer. Sorry, it's hard being dead. That's the spirit. Well, I was at the studios from around nine in that morning. During the morning, I was doing um an action scene run through. I think uh, it took a lot more than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. Well, I didn't eat lunch with them. But I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. Mm. I don't know. We were in the meeting until 4 o'clock. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. How can he be pretty sure if there were only a few people in the meeting? Hmm. You would notice if someone left. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Hmm. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. I mean, this is so on point right now. I know, just, right? He's ready to go. Well, I was at the studio from around 9 that morning. Uh, during the morning, I was doing uh, action scenes. Uh, it took a lot more than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting. You know, that doesn't sound right. He's sweating, so... Hold it! Yeah, that's right. So in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? Uh... That must have been tough. Phoenix! Yeah? What was up? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Uh, it's a little vague. It's contra- Ah, let's try this one. Yeah, it does seem odd, now that you mention it. I want steak! I know. Mr. Manella! Huh? What do you want? When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates, the same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. They had food on them! Oh, who ate lunch there? Yeah! Ah! Uh, no, we're, um, good call. Uh, I, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. <laughs> but I did eat after all. <laughs> what? A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all the trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. <laughs> and what is going on with this? Clearly a man who likes to eat. I suspected as much. Yeah, it's hard for me to believe that guy could go without lunch. I know. So when exactly did you eat it? Uh, we took our break during that meeting. I wolfed it down then. 
I don't know. A metal image will carry me to my grave. Ugh. Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. Yeah! I'll press on that one a bit more. Sounds good, Phoenix. Hmm. This is getting so intense. We were in the meeting until around four. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. Oh. Hold it! Yeah, they did! You didn't take a single break? Well, well yeah, no, not one. <laughs> hmm. uh, Why is he sweating so much? I wonder. Maybe because he has salmonella. Ah, uh, well, he should see a doctor <laughs> for that. If only I had an idea. Wait a second! Maybe I do have an idea. Press harder! Yeah! Let's do this! Wait a second! Mr. Manella, you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that T-bone steak during a break? That's right. Whoops! Rolf! <laughs> well? Um... Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, uh, yeah, I guess I did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them would have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony again, please. <laughs> Uh-oh, Edgeworth is laughing! Wow. Testimony, the break. Yo, uh, words. <laughs> we took a break. Roll on the floor laughing. Oh, it, probably. It was only a 15 minute. 15 minutes, that's only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say I commit murder in Studio One. Whoa. Why would you laugh about that? That's only just enough time to eat a T-boat steak. If you ask me. Mm. <laughs> mm. Can I get a steak? I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Let's test it right now. Let's have T-bone steaks. In Order the in the court. Sorry. S someone get a T-bone steak. Very well. <laughs> you may begin the cross-examination while I have dinner. <laughs> Yum. Delicious. The break. Hmm. Yeah, we took a break, Rolf. Hold it. Hold it! What time exactly did you take this break? Uh, I'd say it was from around 2.30 or until 2.45. That's the time the murder took place! 2.30! That's the time of death. Hmm. So he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and came back, and then ate steak! That's right. So I guess it's possible time-wise. That's right! Hmm... But it was only a 15-minute break? Not enough time for someone to say commit a murder! Hold it! Why is that? Uh-oh. We haven't had enough of this pointless line of questioning. Your honor... The testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. Except for they took a break exactly at the time of I murder. Know. It was impossible for any one of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? <laughs> Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One? Uh, Absurd. Yeah, we are. Hmm. That's what I'm suggesting. Well, Mr. Wright! Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? Hmm. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let's I... try this one. What? Yep. Okay, I... Uh... I don't want to write off so many possible suspects. I got nervous when I saw that little bar up there. I don't want to have a yeah. wrong answer again. But I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I mean, it's probably wrong, but... I agree that it's impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio in that time. <laughs> oh, sorry. <clears throat> I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again. 
But I see that you had at least an inkling of the truth. No, I think you're on thin ice, Edgeworth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey Head barred the way. I thought it was Mr. Monkey Head. I know! Why would it be Mrs.? There's no bow on the head of that. I know. Around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. I think that's a type. Ergo, I think so. When the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. I'm calling him Mr. Monkey Head. Blocked by Mr. Monkey Head severed head. Disturbing. Uh... It's actually Mr. Monkey, but <gasps> Edgeworth has a point. Oh my gosh, she got ah! the wrong one. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. <laughs> I believe we have seen enough evidence. Thank you. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. Why is Edgeworth always taking a bow? What? It's over? Well, that guy's got some kind of style there. Very well. The court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. Hmm. Therefore, I have no relation to this course. Case, furthermore, I want steak. With regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. Huh? All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid it would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor. The prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. Murmur, 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 murmur. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the Steel Samurai skewered his victim. Disturbing. I know, right? Images. Order! Order! I'll have order! I see. The court will take a ten-minute recess, after which we'll hear your witness. And we will have T-bone steaks. Yes! The court is adjourned for recess and lunch! Mmm, <laughs> steak. Delicious. October 19th. I want 11 some. 11 a.m. Yeah, okay. I have some cold fries over there. Mmm. Hmm. hmm. What do we do now, ghost? I mean, Mia. Uh, if everyone in that trailer has an alibi... Hmm. I'm sorry, Phoenix. You want steak? I guess I was wrong. I can't eat steak because I'm a ghost. Ha 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 ha. Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. That we still have a ghost of a chance. The people in the trail, trailer, could not have gone to Studio One. It's okay, We're, you're dead, so. It's hard to read words after I've already died. Can ghosts read? I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong, I guess. That's all there is. Um, but Mr. Powers didn't do it! What's gonna happen to me? Uh -oh. It kinda seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. <laughs> no. Uh, they think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. I think you're a murderer too. Just kidding. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong, but don't look like you're a killer. You are the Steel Samurai. Hero to children everywhere, after all. I... <laughs> you... Thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. The way she twists her head like that, it's really creepy. She's trying to, like, be gentle. Oh. October 19th, 11.15am, District Court, number four. It kind of looks like her neck is uncomfortable, though. It's like She's... Dead! Oh. <laughs> Order's back. Mm, and I had a delicious T-bone steak. Uh, anyway, time to resume the trial of willpowers. Yada, 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 It's yada. amazing he could wolf that down in ten minutes. 
The prosecution also enjoyed the stake, Your Honor, but we still have a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his crueling questioning. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the high moral ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackens to the stand. Oh, dear Lord. What? I have to do a little kid. There's no way that Cody... I know Cody saw the real thing, though. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on? All right. Um, God, please bring forth a box. One of those donut crates. And I'll take a donut while you're at it. Thank you, Bailiff. <laughs> hey, Cody. Will the witness state his name and grade in school, please? Uh... Witness! Child! What? Huh? Just cause you're all thrown up, don't mean you can push me around, man. <laughs> Cody, answer his question, okay? Ah, uh, it's you, the nice lady. Aww. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade, yo. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, <laughs> long day. Can they really put someone in jail for a kid's testimony? I guess. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <clears throat> Witness, I mean, uh, Cody. He's having trouble with the gentle thing. <laughs> <laughs> You were present, uh, at the Global Studios on the day of the, uh, um, incident, correct? You got a problem with that? <laughs> uh, please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? Just Mr. Edgeworth. I prefer bearded gentlemen. Very <laughs> long day indeed. Incidentally... Photographic uh, equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. <laughs> My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like spe special permission if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying the kid bargain terms with... Oh, man. Wow. And you lost. I know. Hey, I just got this new camera, yo. I don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix. I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. Incident! You'd better make a note of it in the court record. Bum, bum, bum. Cody's okay. camera. Add it to the court record. Very well, Mr. Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this is going to be intense. Yeah, for my voice. <laughs> Here we go. I wanted to see the Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. Aww. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. Kawaii. I went there through the woods of the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> I was going for the studio. Got kind of lost on the way, though, for about, I don't know, 30 minutes. When it came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai! It totally rocked! Right before my eyes! Came out the bad guy! Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down! Pow! If I had my camera with me, that wouldn't have been a time for the shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Hmm. Hmm. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination kindly, but be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. Huh. This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here. <laughs> Honestly. I know. Cross-examination witness account. This tough little face. I wanted to see Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods. So that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way, though. For about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. The Steel Samurai? Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looked like he was thinking about something before going in. 
Then he opened up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? I totally rocked before my eyes. Out came the bad guy. That doesn't make any sense. Of course, the steel samurai took him down. Kapow! I think it's an it totally rocked. Ah. If I had my camera, uh, I would have taken a time for shot or something. Hold it! Hold it! If you had your camera... You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out and he went home. Phoenix! Yo, what's up? Remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Uh, easy for you to say, ghost lady. I want to see Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. Hmm. So he's never seen one? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I know. If you want me to be Cody, if your voice gets hurt. If my voice gets hurt. Okay. okay. Uh... On a map of the internet, went through the woods, I, I don't know, whatever, you can do whatever you want. Went through, through, through the, the studio. studio. I got kind of lost on the way, though, for about 30 minutes. Okay, you do a better Cody than me. Really? I, I don't know. <sighs> when I came up by the studio, there was a steel samurai. Hmm. It totally rocked right before my eyes. Out came the bad guy. What sort of bad guy was it? Guy? Person? Kind of tall? Skinny? Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know. It was kind of far away. Hmm. He's being awfully vague. Far away? Mm hmm. Hmm. Of course! The Steel Samurai took him down! Pow! Really? What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well... Uh... Well, he kind of didn't move. Not, not a bit. Like he was dead. I, I, I guess he's a real pro. What, what a great actor. Yes! I suppose he was. Wow. If I had my camera with me, I wouldn't... Oh. If you had your camera. You mean you weren't carrying your camera. Okay, I already did this one. No, I wasn't. Okay. But I feel like he did have his camera. I know. I know, I know, I know. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we have to present evidence. Remember, he's a child. Wait, 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 wait. I just thought of something. Okay. Um, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. We have something. I feel like that statement's important. It's going through, not the studio, it got kind of lost. That came by the studio. It totally rocked. Of course, the Seal Samurai, nope. If, yes. Now, what is something that we have a lot of photos of? The Steel s The Path to Glory, his book. Oh, yeah. Okay. This has got to be it. Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. It does? Really? Uh, it does? I don't see anything contradictory. Huh? Really? Objection overruled. Uh... Try to think before you make accusations. Mm. Okay, well, uh, that didn't go so well. Okay, so I did something wrong. Hmm. If I had my camera... Do we have... Yeah, we have his camera. We do? Oh! Presented. Oh! I... Okay. I oh, it's I okay. It's okay. I messed up. It's all right. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange, bud. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? Yeah. You were quite clear about that. <laughs> Whoa! Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you? Uh-oh, I was putting the pressure on too much. What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? Uh, it's, um, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Uh... 
Mr. Wright, are you badgering a child? How cruel are you to terrorize a poor child so? I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. That's right. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Oh, snap. Well, Cody. What? what? Yeah, so I had my cameras. So what? You got a problem with that? He's on a box. <laughs> He's on a box. So you did have your camera. I would be standing on a and box. And did you side. use this camera? Why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching. Mm. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. What I saw. This is getting good. Yeah, I, I had my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. Steel Samurai, he was... Goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. Uh, he's so strong, the Steel Samurai rule! <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. Aha, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, uh, your cross-examination, please. Okay. What I saw. Uh, yeah, I had my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. Hmm. So you were watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Mm. Yeah, of course! Yeah, why would he not take a picture, though? You didn't turn away? Not even once? <laughs> no. Okay, then. Tell us exactly what happened. Y yeah, I'm getting to that. Ramps. The Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. I don't understand who the bad guy is. I don't know. Why? Huh? W w what do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the Steel Samurai brought him to justice! And how exactly did he do that? Uh, how did he do it? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch, samurai chop, slap! S something like that. He's still being vague about this. Yeah. What? D don't give me that look, Pops! How should I play this? Press, Press him harder. harder. Cody. W what? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah, so what? Yet, you missed the most important part. Objection! What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated that he saw quite clearly. Objection! You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap! That's right! Ah! My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the samurai's fights. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Ooh. Whoa. Order! Order! Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, uh, that's the thing. <laughs> Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track on this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you. You can figure this out. Hmm. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Hmm. He was watching something else? No. Or he couldn't, he watch, couldn't it watch it. Because it was painful for him to watch? Because he couldn't watch it. How could he calmly watch a murderer taking place at his age? Just a moment, please. One thing has become quite clear in this boy's testimony. He did not believe he was witnessing a murder. I'm pretty sure he knew. He was watching the Steel Samurai fight like on TV. The more the real fight, the more he would have watched. Um, huh? I have to agree with Mr. Edgeworth here. 
Well, Mr. Wright, do you have another explanation? We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Hmm. Show evidence, maybe? What kind of evidence would we show? Mm. Well, this is the thing. We know Mr. Powers wasn't actually in that suit. Because he's innocent, so he couldn't have possibly been in the suit. Yeah. It was obviously somebody else, and if it was somebody else, maybe... Let's try something else. Okay. He might have cl uh, He missed the ending of the fight because he was looking at something else. Probably. Probably. Something else! Mr. Wright, explain yourself! Maybe he was looking at a leaf? What could possibly distract this boy from seeing his idol, the Steel Samurai, battle? What do you claim he was looking at? Uh, uh. Come on, think of something! Think of something! Nothing! Mr. Wright, please refrain from making baseless claims! Y yes sorry, Your Honor. Do you have another explanation for this? Let's present a photo. We've something. ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? I guess, I guess we have to show evidence. Show evidence of something. Your Honor, I have evidence. We do. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody l look away from the fight? I thought we already talked to Cody. Uh... And he said that, remember, the Steel Samurai made a, a weird gesture to him. Here's my proof! It's a camera! What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah! Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera! Wow, okay. He was trying to take a picture! Hey! Mm. Bullseye! Wh wh what's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? P pressing, not not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Oh boy. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way that he could just stand there watching his hero. And not take a picture. Whoops. Right! Cody! Uh, there's only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight. And that was because you wanted to take a picture. Mm. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? I can't do the little kid anymore. Mm. Okay, I don't know. Yeah! Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Uh, okay. We're right! Ghosty means business! Your Honor, um, the defense would like to request that Cody ta uh, testify once more. Uh, ba -deep, ba -deep, ba -deep. That's all, folks. Very well, Cody! Yeah. Uh, could you please tell me about this magical device? And uh, what digital means? Why didn't you take a picture with this interesting thing? It means you plug it into a computer! Um. Welcome to the real world, kid. Whoa. Oh, he's crying. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture. You tuned this better than me. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's, that's all that happened. Yep. Actually, I'm just doing it better because your voice was going... Your voice was cuter for the kid. Mm. When your voice was working. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? Yeah, a little you, sore throat. Yeah, a little bit. I'm not sure. But I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. There were no girl characters for this. There's weird just ghost lady. Ghost. Yeah, you're right, Pops! The Steel Samurai just had escaped from the clutches of the villain! So I held up my camera to take a picture! But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it! <laughs> That's all that happened! Yep. Sorry, Cody. That's all? Huh? Oh, yeah! I told you! I didn't take a picture! 
Hmm. I would have once... I would have once I got the lens open. Did he recently not take a picture? Not even one. Press him harder. Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's got to be something here I can use. Mm. Now we use the photo album! Cody! Yeah. Listen up, Cody Hackins. Uh, I know exactly what happened that day. <sighs> well, we do? You took a picture! <gasps> hey! Bullseye! Oh, how did you know? <laughs> I see through all your lies, Cody! It's one of my superpowers. <laughs> This feels great! <laughs> yeah, 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 I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody. Please. Well, I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? Hmm. There has to be something, Phoenix. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix, and find out what this kid's all about. Lying! Yeah, you're right, Pops! The still samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain, so I held up my camera to take a picture! But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it! I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. Hang on there, bud. You erased them? Yeah! Why would you erase a picture of your beloved Steel Samurai victorious? Well, you know, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Hmm, he's becoming less and less cooperative. Wow. I better find a clear contradiction soon, or, so, uh, or some solid evidence. I know! Photo album! It's gotta be the photo album! How yeah, can I, know, I pick right? holes in such a short testimony? Photo album! Photo album! No! There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid's all about. It's a photo album! Yeah, you're right, Pops! Still samurai just had to hold up my camera, but the lens wouldn't open. I took a few shots, but it was too Take back! Cody! What? What? Man, every time you see Cody, you fall it with something bad. Sorry. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Oh! Oh! All right! What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance! I always take a picture with the Steel Samurai lands the final blow! Wazam! I got them all! I never miss one! A perfect collection! Whoa, Cody! Did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? <gasps> it's alright! What exactly is this album? Well, you put pictures in it, Your Honor. It's called The Path to Glory. Oh, it's a collection yeah. of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has ever won. I, I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Interesting. Hmm. Hold up. Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? There must have been something wrong. If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. Hmm. Ah! Ah! No, wait! No way! Phoenix, I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. M Mia, are... Are we sure about this? I think we're psychically talking to each other. Did he actually... Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is what I'm thinking. Stay? And that's right. <laughs> no, Phoenix. Tell him. Tell him what the truth is. That I'm a terrible cook and I brought steak today. And Mr. I Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. And we already broke for lunch. Why was there no picture of the album from the day of the murder? 
Why would the boy who have erased the photos he took? Because the still samurai didn't win! Yes! Yes! I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. <gasps> the steel samurai didn't win. Say it's not so! That's why Cody deleted those photos. <gasps> you mean the steel samurai lost? Better well, know. Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth, the bad guy defeated the steel samurai. Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Whoa. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth! <gasps> what? This is so intense. Order! I will have order! Witness! I mean, Cody! Is this true? Aww. What did you see? Tell the court what you saw, please. Why? Why? Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? Ah, okay, okay, you're right. The Steel Samurai fell down, then he didn't move. Ah! Order! Order! What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim! Not according to the witness. Yet according to your witness testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell! Whoa. Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? Steel Samurai was no victim. Yeah, it was the victim. The Steel Samurai was the victim. Wait, no. The Steel Samurai or Hammer was the victim. I don't know, one one of the two. Mm. Uh, well, the Steel Samurai was the victim. All right, we'll go with that one. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. Thanks, Amber. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer. He was the victim. Just taking a wild guess. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai! Whoa! Whoa! What? Oh my god! Order! 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 So, the Steel Samurai in this photograph. You're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he was obviously aware about Will Power's foot injury. Mm. But wait! Uh, hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to the Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember that Miss Oldbag said in her testimony? Here you go, Amber. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Hmm. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. Mm. However, no one saw him going to Studio One. Mm. Nor was there a picture of him. That's right! He waited for Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. There's no evidence that he left! Yep. He then snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Oh my gosh. What? Why would a victim do such a thing? To hide his identity! I, I, I don't know! I get it! Huh? I thought the, the Steel Samurai was moving strange! So it was a different person inside the suit! Pops! Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data that I saved! Data? Yeah, 
a photo on my digital camera! Ah! Huh? What? Show us quick, lad! No way, man! No, you're gonna look at me like that! No! Uh, here, this is it! Oh! Oh my gosh! Looking at this still, it's a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? Well, he's standing up without an yeah. injury. I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Hmm? What? Wake up. Look at that photo once more. And you're sleeping in court. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. Nani? Y y your Honor, may I see that photo once more, please? Certainly. I see... I don't see what you... what? Okay. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring, decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. Uh, if you say so. There's no T-bone Find present. the inconsistency in the photo. Uh, there's a two there. Uh, his leg! Take that! <gasps> oh! Your Honor, look at this! Never mind, he's at Studio 2. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Oh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. <gasps> Clearly not a one, Your Honor. Correct? Ah! Whoa! I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees where I'm going with this. But, 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 that's impossible! Hmm? Hey, what was this all about? I'm a little uh, <laughs> slow here. Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use the studio guide map, Your Honor. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The body was found here in Studio One. Oh my god. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? <gasps> it does not say one on that photo in the gate. Whoa. Your Honor, here is the true scene of the crime. Show the judge where the murder took place. Studio Two! Studio Two! Take that! Take that! Take that. Here, a Studio Two. I see! That would explain the two on the gate in that photo! Uh, yeah! Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2. The trailer is there, the path was blocked, no filming is done there. Hmm... Wait, where was the path blocked? Between 1 and 2? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We're going with this one. The trailer! As you may recall, there's a trailer in Studio 2. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. Oh. There was a break in the meeting uh, corresponding to the time of death. <gasps> oh my gosh, that would give them enough time to commit the murder. There are plates there! During yeah. that break, Mr. Sal Manella and Miss D. Vezquez were outside eating steak! They eat it! They were at the scene of the crime. Mumble, 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 <gasps> mumble, mumble. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15, Your Honor. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember, Mr. Salmonella's testimony. Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Yet, in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. <gasps> what? They were the only ones to access to the scene of the crime! Studio 2! Whoa. My gosh. Order! That means Will Powers couldn't have done it because the path was blocked. Exactly. The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard, Miss Oldbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a Steel Samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. Oh boy. This is madness! Jackhammer is the victim! The victim! Yep. Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? I guess we can't ask, ask him now. Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? 
No. Well, no, of course not. That would be weird. Yeah, why would he want to get murdered? Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim Jack Hammer stole the costume. Uh, uh I have proof. <laughs> Don't know. I have proof. You, you do? You do, Mr. Wright? What do we now have? what? They're surprised I suddenly... I'm much less confident. All right, Luke, what do we have? Proof! We need to find something! Uh, oh my gosh. Here's the proof of Jack Hammer stole the costume. <gasps> my attorney's the patch. Uh, the... Empty Wait, bottle, monkey the... head. Wait, what is a bottle? What is a bottle? Uh, found... Oh. Label. Let's present the bottle! I don't even remember what this is. This is it! Sleeping pills? An empty bottle? Medicine bottle? I found it uh, on the table in the employee area. We did. Oh, the yeah. same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads, Sleeping Pills. Sleeping Pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. <gasps> Hammer. Oh my gosh! He what? Didn't, he didn't even mean to sleep in. Wait a minute. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there's no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Uh, Test of blood, fingerprint the bottle, examine Hammer's body. Fingerprints! Yeah, prints. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprint should be shown on this bottle. Whoa. <sighs> I suppose you're right. Very well. The court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle given to the judge. Still Whoa. using the judge voice. Yep. Oof. This is so intense. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. 41 stakes. Cody Hackens, testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. Thank you, Cody. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. <gasps> the scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two. And thus, in the trailer, uh, did have time to commit the murder. Those in the trailer. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? And now he's German. Find the answer for me by tomorrow. He likes that, to do different things. That's ways. a lot of homework, Your Honor. I know. Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you need to find... Need to consider your suspicion of Mr. Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. But... But if you don't know who did it, still. Very well. Court is adjourned. My gosh. Time for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Time for dinner, yes. Oh, my goodness. Lobby number one. Woo! Good job, Phoenix! That was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial and leaving you there, Phoenix. M me, me too. <laughs> really? You both seem so so confident. Ha! <laughs> Maybe I should take up a career in acting. Uh, I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Wow. Me too. <laughs> uh, dead. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we're kidding, right, Phoenix? Oh, are you sure? Kind of. I, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> now, Mr. Powers, uh, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. We will. Right! Thanks, guys. Oh, he's so adorable. And... To be continued! Oh my gosh, I have to go for a walk. Woo! That was crazy. That was pretty crazy. All right, so anyway, guys and gals, that is going to do it for this episode of Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright. Thanks so much Yay! for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and join us next time as the investigation continues. You can check out some of the other cool videos on K-Wing's Let's Plays. And remember that a new episode of Phoenix Wright is every day at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming.
Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to more Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright Trilogy here on Kingdoms Let's Plays. Brought to you by Capcom. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, because we have another day that the court thing has been extended, so we're gonna go do that. October 19th, 327 p.m. Wright and Company Law Offices. Okay. That was a close one, huh, Mia? I think it's been a long day for Phoenix. Really? Wait, really? Too bad. I'm sorry, I missed it. Huh? Ah, b -b -b Maya. So, what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is motive and proof. Well, good going, Nick. Ha <laughs> ha. Under the initial trial system, tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? Uh, that's the new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. So, under that system, trials have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we have no- oh, I'm well, sorry. Well, we have no time to waste! Ah, 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 it's hard ah. because it's supposed to be you, me, you, me. I don't get it, Maya. I'm sorry. Why would Mr. Hammer steal a Steel Samurai costume? What? You mean Mr. Hammer was wearing the costume? Yeah. Well, but Mr. Hammer was the victim, Nick. Why would he go through the trouble of stealing it? That's what we have to find out. Hmm. Director's alibi. What happened with the director's testimony? Oh boy. Well, it's pretty clear that the producer and the director were both in the trailer. Huh? Which means that the killer has to be one of them. Really? Why? Because the real scene of the crime was Studio 2, where the trailer is. <gasps> what? Hmm, was Maya always this excitable? Yes. Uh, well, she's worried about the Steel Samurai. Well, have you noticed anything that might help us, Maya? I can't see what's going on when Mia is here. So, no, I haven't noticed anything. Right. Maybe we should go talk to WP. W oh, Will Powers. Right, right, right. Good idea, Maya. Yeah, right. of course it's Will Powers. What do you think I meant? Oops. That, this Oops. isn't Will. Oh, I meant to go to the no. detention center. My bad. Hey? You old windbag sure is quiet today. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick? I think her guard's down. Y yeah. I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station if we wanted. <laughs> you eat, you die! Woo! She's alive! Okay. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess we'll talk to her. Um, I was wondering about D. Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her! So, she always gets her way. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Okay, well, Director Manella, can you uh, tell us about the director? Sal, he's soft, a pushover, does whatever Vasquez tells him to do. She treats him like dirt. But I think he likes it. Hello? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Er, uh, nope. No, it doesn't, Maya. Alright, Mr. Hammer. About Mr. Hammer... Uh, I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper! Poor old Hammer, you drag his star down from the sky and stomp on him, calling him a criminal, a thief! I, I, I won't forget this! Uh-oh, she's really ticked off this time! You listen to me, you whippersnapper! You, my 
and poor old Hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal Power's costume just so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible. Okay, well, let's uh, go to the detention center like we were supposed to. Feels like <laughs> her, her eyes turned white. Yep, October 19th, detention center. Visitor's room. Mr. Wright, you did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears, though? He's scared. Wow, Nick, you must have really wowed him in there. And could you wipe that grin off your face? Hey, WP, only one day left. Let's make it count. Yeah, although there's not really anything I can do to help. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I can do either. I guess it's all up to Nick. Please, this is no laughing matter, you two. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> um, could you tell me about the uh, producer? Oh, uh, the producer? Well, she's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? Yeah, she's uh, been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares tell her different these days. Why is that? You, ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and, uh... And? What? No, no, nothing. For, forget it. <laughs> I, I've only heard rumors, anyhow. Mm. Um, can you tell us about, uh, Salmonella? Oh, this is terrible. Oh, but, uh, the director, he used to be a minor <laughs> straight-to-video director. <laughs> but something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. She brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows the name Salmonella. Mm. I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call, though. Ugh. Whenever she says jump, he asks how high and all that. <laughs> I can imagine him being at her beck and call, though I can't imagine him jumping. <laughs> wow. I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped out of the face of the earth. Oh, yeah, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in this business. But he just stopped taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in little productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Miss Vasquez came to Global. Five years ago. Mmm. Mm. Interesting. Nope, nothing there. All right, let's go to... Outside Studio One, perhaps? No, let's go to the employee area. October 19th, Global Studios, employee area. I guess they're not filming today, either. Um, he's in jail? Aww, I did want to see them filming just one time. The trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. I guess. Yeah. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I guess that is where we found it. I kind of forgot about those. I wonder if there's any other clues lying around. Yar! No, 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 no touching! Eek! Uh... Oh, sorry, pal. I didn't mean to frighten you guys. <laughs> D didn't mean? I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I guess I can be a little dramatic at times. Uh, I suppose it's the actor in me. Dramatic indeed. <laughs> anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table. Wait, you're looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. Interesting. Hmm... So, you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills. How? 
Uh, for a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make, uh... Your, uh cursory examination? Cursory, uh, cursory examination right over there. Sorry, I had, uh, burritos for lunch, pal. <laughs> <clears throat> Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to the sleeping pill, see? If there's traces, it'll change color. Cool. Mm. Wow, neat! I wonder if that's a CSI thing. Yeah. Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Oh, uh, now, now, everything in due time, pal. Hmm. 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 Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, all right. <gasps> da da da! So the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Oh wait, sorry, that's... So the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. Steak plate added to the court record. Do we have to hold that in our pocket? Ugh. How goes your investigation? Tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. Shadow doesn't either. Feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. How is Edgeworth doing anyway? <laughs> uh, Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. Uh, he was in the waiting room and he crushed this paper cup with hot coffee in it. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ouch. Talk about burns, pal. Oh my gosh. Wow! The Fury of Edgeworth! Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups, bottles... Say, whatever happened with the empty bottle? Yeah. Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. Yes! <gasps> da -da -da. <gasps> so that means... Yep, it sounds like the one who put powers to sleep was none other than the victim. Well, So I was right! Yes! Sleeping pills re-added to the court record. Yay! Well, this is getting so deep. I know, I guess that's all he had to say. Okay. I am so thankful we have the right person. Well, let's go inside the dressing room and talk to Salmonella. Poor Will Powers, he didn't mean- Oh, that's not Salmon Mel. What? Oh. What? Hello. What are you doing here? She's the murderer! Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room and stuff. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... What? What? Why? But WP's innocent! Yes, and I'm really grateful for all you've done. But this week, it's the last episode of The Still Samurai. What? No! Why? Uh, I was wondering if you could ask uh, you about Mr. Hammer. Yes? Oh, uh, on the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Hmm. Oh, I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Steel Samurai costume, too! What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Hmm. Oh. I guess the rumor must be true, then. The rumor? Speak up, girl. Yeah. Miss Vasquez, that producer, had some kind of hold on Mr. Hammer. I mean, she had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some... Dirt? What dirt? Hmm. Dirt, you know, bad stuff. Mm, um, I know what dirt means! About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during the filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. Whoa. The film set? Was that trailer part of the film set then? <gasps> oh my gosh. Well, what do you mean? The last Steel Samurai? <gasps> I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. 
Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the last Steel Samurai's death warrant. I got that wrong. No! No! Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming now. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. <gasps> what? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Oh my god. Let's ask about the studio policy. Why aren't they going to make kids shows anymore? Hmm. The studio bigwigs don't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. They wanted, you know, to keep quiet. You understand? Uh, how could they just do that? What about all the kids who love Steel Samurai? It's okay. I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. You know. No! That can't be true! If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure! Nick! Say something! Um... Oh, yeah! Uh, I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. People love the Steel Samurai. Uh... You know, I'm going with the photo book again. And this is... A fan collection of all these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be canceled just for some adults can save face. Uh, I would think you would understand that better than anyone. Yeah! Hmm. You're right. Okay. But what can I do? Well, for starters... You can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right I'm going to try to add more stuff to Benny because I'm just having her sitting there. Could you she, tell us what happened five years ago? She's just staring straight ahead. Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago, somebody died and it was Hammer's fault. Dun dun dun! Someone d died! It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Ms. Fe Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer. Oh, that's me, sorry. That's the dirt she had on Hammer? Face bomb, face bomb, face bomb! And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Ms. Vasquez asked him to do! In Amber's defense, if Phoenix Wright showed up and, like, the other characters, then it probably wouldn't happen. But they always have, you know. Sorry. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star back then, you know? They were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. I see. You know who knows more about this? Miss Oldbag. She was here at the studio back then. And the plot thickens! Thanks, I'll try asking her. Though she hates our guests, if she'll talk. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not very good at doing Penny, because... I don't know. Well, Penny's very apathetic. <laughs> she doesn't seem to care, but I should have just added emotion anyway. Yeah, I'm sorry. When it switches to Phoenix Wright, I don't see the name sometimes. What are you still slinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me, huh? Oh, the old windbag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer! It's all due to Hammer! Uh, she's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick! Maybe we should keep a safe distance. Um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Huh? Who told you? Who did you hear that from? Oh, dear. I, uh... <laughs> Nichols? N Nick, Nick, Nichols? Uh, Nichols? Nick. Penny Nichols, that assistant we talked to. 
Oh, right! I thought she knew my name. Anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. That's right, Shadow. I thought she was saying her name, too. He killed a man, didn't he? Whipper snappers dredging up dirt on someone's past like them? Them recently departed, no less. <laughs> I suppose you think this is fun? No, I'm, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume? You expect me to believe this rubbish? Hm. Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Power's costume? I have proof! <laughs> Sleeping pills! That's right! I'm sorry, Miss Oldbag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Power's costume. Uh... Where is the least of food? Let's least? try the this one, yeah. Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak at lunch, correct? Well, well yes, so... This is the plate that he used to eat the steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. Huh? Huh. I bet Powers put the sleeping powder there himself. Even a lightweight like him must have trouble sleeping sometimes. Except I have proof that Mr. Hammer put the pills in it. Uh, the bottle has his fingerprints, I thought. Take that. Let's try that. This bottle contains sleeping pills. Mr. Hammer's fingerprints were found on the bottle. <gasps> hmm. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Miss Oldbag? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Interesting. Miss Oldbag. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. Gasp! That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. Sounds like it. And guess who made it all better? Best guess! She has ties to the, uh, Mafia. She silenced the paparazzi. Oh my! That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see! But you have to understand, poor old Hammer never meant to harm anyone. Miss Oldbag! Hold on a minute! Poor Miss Oldbag! Here, take this! Huh? A photograph? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! W wait a second! <laughs> oh my gosh! This, this is the- is the picture! Oh, oh. Is, is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with this bad guy on the top of those stairs there. So he pushed the other actor when, well, the man fell onto the flower box fence. Oh. But h how did you get this? It, it was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Five-year-old photo added to the court record. Disturbing! I didn't mean to. <laughs> and he was during a fight scene. Why would they cover that up? Sorry. I don't want to think about it anymore. I thought I presented my attorney badge. Oh. Okay. Oh. Sometimes when you present the attorney badge, like, some crazy funny stuff happens. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah. Outside I didn't realize that. I thought we just had it in our, like, stuff just to show we were an attorney. I didn't know we were supposed to present it to mm. people. <laughs> Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume. Yeah, he did that. Then he left from here to go to Studio 2? Right. But why? 
I wonder if someone calls him, like the director or the producer. Hmm. Is there anything else? That could be possible if somebody called him. I'm bushed. Maybe I'll sit down here for a bit. This is exactly why I don't want to get old ever like you, Nick. Hey, I'm 24. I'm just tired. <laughs> Nick, when you start having to say I'm still young, you know it's all over. Why aren't you a 17-year-old punk, but I'm still young? Oh my gosh. Mia, that was so, like, savage. Maya. Ah, oh, see, yeah. you're doing ah. it now. You're doing it now. Oh. Their names are so similar. The mascot of Mr. Global Monkey Studios. Apparently, its name is Mr. Monkey. Not Mrs. Monkey. Edgy. The entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. I don't have the card key anymore, so I can't go in there today. Sadness. All right, so then... This is a security camera that takes photos of everyone who comes through the gate. Doesn't seem to be switched on today. Why not? This would be a great time to take pictures because criminals always revisit their scene of the crime. I know. Studio 2 is down that way. Studio 2, the real scene of the crime. Say, Nick, how did you figure that out again? Well... Actually, it's a long story. I'll tell you another time. Aww. Uh -huh. I feel like I have so much of Maya's personality in real life. That scared me. I wasn't expecting to She's find her there. creepy. Well, now that we know she has ties to the Mafia, she is pretty terrifying, it yes. It makes so much more sense now. Hey, Nick! It's Miss Vasquez! Mafia lady! Yay! Oh, hello? Hmm. Ha hello! <laughs> hello! <laughs> M Maya, you should at least try to be polite. I'm watching the clouds. Eh, Nani. <laughs> That's all she had to say, apparently. <sighs> Lucky for us, she's such a good conversationalist. Yeah, I know, right? Um, excuse me. Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder and... Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, Nick! She's really ticking me off! Oh, dear. She's uh, mean. Uh, let's ask about... I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Manella? If you must talk about that man... Perhaps you could talk about it in the trailer. By yourselves. Oh! Oh, oh dear. Uh. She is... ruthless. Alright, five-year-old photo. Take that! <laughs> She's not even looking. Where? B what? Where did you get that? I will... Oh, old bag. Old. She means the security lady, Miss Old Bag, Nick. All right, uh, I knew that. Anyway, Miss Vasquez, uh, you hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. <laughs> the wind. The what now? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Hmm. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Uh. Nick! She went inside the trailer! Creepy. I don't want to go in there. She's going to kill us. I know. I'm kind of freaked out about this. Also, see how this thing is bent? Yeah, now we have that photograph, and... Wow, it's so pretty! They're taking good care of these, aren't they, Nick? Don't get too close to that fence. Looks dangerous. Really? What could happen to me if I fell off? Oh. <laughs> Nothing fun. <laughs> hmm. 
You came. Well then, what was that you were talking about? Ah, why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vasquez, you were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing a kid show for petty change. Hmm. So, I'm a blackmailer now? Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident, I mean. But you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star! Oh? I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour of its own accord. Mm. But, but, but you were the cause! You pressured him! And to think it was just an accident! Excuse me. What is this all about? You keep saying accident. Accident? How are you so sure? What? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think. What would it be if it wasn't an accident? Huh? No. No way! You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? I don't think so. That's what I mean. I think she's doing that to cover up her thing. W where's your proof? C can you prove it? Hmm. Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? If you if you brainwashed him to make him think it would ruin his career, and I ran him hard, believe you me. But but the security lady said it was an accident. Oh well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hand, she did. And then she gave him a few bruises, too. Huh. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all reporters would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one that you hold. Give it to me now. What? This is valuable! Boys! Mafia! Uh-oh. Um... Who, who are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. Oh, snap. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? What? What? Nani? The trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate for you. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Huh? T -t Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph s so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt. N no. Why should D. Vasquez care about it all? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, erase away. No! Oh my... Hold it right there! Come shoot! I heard everything, pal! <gasps> Deep ass kids! You're coming down to the precinct with me, now! Whoa! Hm. Hm. Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow, then. In court. I'll be looking forward to it. Wow. Did not see that coming. Hey, hey, hey you okay, pals? We are now. Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. Uh, I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Thank you for coming by. Detective Gumshoe! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I was really scared. Huh? Oh, don't mention it, kid. Uh, just doing my job. Uh... Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just... I've wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. Yay! Wow. Well, Nick, 
It looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this! And who's at the bottom? D. Vasquez. That's right! To be continued! Oh my goodness. That was, that was intense. That was pretty I intense. thought we were actually going to die, but I forgot we're not inside the TV. That's right. So anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. <laughs> we hope you all had a lot of fun. Join Yay. us tomorrow for the final trial of the Steel Samurai. So anyway, uh, check out some of the other cool videos coming out on K-Wing's Let's Plays. A reminder that the next episode of Phoenix Wright airs tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So be there! Until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. See ya! Hold it! Hey, what's happening, people? Welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney on K-Wing's Let's Plays. Oh, yeah! And we're playing the entire trilogy brought to you by Capcom. So we're still in the first game, and we are in the final part of the last trial for the Steel Samurai. Ooh. So let's see what happens in the uh, final day. October 20th, 10 a.m. Like, comment, subscribe for District Court. Number four. Number four. Murmur, murmur. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready again, Your Honor. As usual. Hey, the defense is ready, Your Honor. Yo. Today will be the final day of this trial. Okay. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was in fact Studio 2. Today I will call on people present in Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm, very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. Hmm. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss uh, D. Vasquez is a producer who is also present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Smoke into the courtroom. I know, right? Will the witness state her name and occupation? Mobster. I mean, never mind. <laughs> D. Vasquez. I'm a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer of Studio 2, correct? As everyone here knows, yes. Yes? I dislike lean banter. Wow. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. Ah! I, very well, Miss Vasquez. Yes. <clears throat> Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick! I know she did it! Make her pay! Right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, uh, so, so to speak. She's wearing a dress, but yeah. It's a saying. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 o'clock sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later, when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio 2. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk, what with that monkey's head toppling over. Van added to the court record. Oh, I see. Very well, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. This is the final battle, Nick! Let's do it! I feel like we're Power Rangers. Let's do it, guys! Ayah! 
I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. Hmm. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in an employee area? No. Hmm. <laughs> Are you always, uh, this, uh, terse? Here? Yes. Oh, here. The meeting began at 12 o'clock sharp. It ended at 4. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. Objection! The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. Oh, uh, that's our job. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. And please, stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. Okay. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops! <laughs> <laughs> it was a 15-minute break. Sal and I ate a T-bone steaks at the table in front of the trailer. Hold on! Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. No, no, I mean s someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak... Well, Nick, find anything? Hmm... I kind of wish she said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said somewhere. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. Alright, let's skip ahead to, uh... Man, she is smoking so much. I know! Like, I mean, she's not gonna continue to keep her, like, gorgeous figure after a while. Like, smoke is eventually gonna come back and bite her. Mm. Um... The eight T-bone <laughs> steaks. Hmm... I don't know what, um... Maybe hold it on the T-bone steaks? I don't know. I thought I did that, though. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. Hmm. No, no, I, I mean, yeah, we already did this. One person is enough. I'm gonna break. Sure no, I... Oh! Oh! Mm. Present the plate, maybe! The food! Uh, that it wasn't eaten? Right! Or... The steak, the plate. Well, Nick, find anything? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I know what to do now. Um, I don't know what to present. I guess we can try doing this food. We got it. We got the, um, the plate. Sound I, I ate. just don't understand people who are this angry all the time. It's like, it must be so tiring. Food! Yeah, the steak is still there. Ha! Ah, as I thought! Hmm. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not! What? What is this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this, Your Honor. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will. Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. Okay. Yet, there were no bones left on the plates. Oh my god. The plates were bare! <laughs> Miss Vasquez! Deathbound. 
Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. You ate the bone, too! Uh. <laughs> you ate the bone, too! Um, Nick, are you sure? I mean, I love steak, but even I don't eat the bone! Hey, I, I don't eat it either. <laughs> Mr. Right. I too leave the bone. <laughs> uh, can I try that again? I, I I think I know how. You didn't eat the steak! You didn't eat the steak! You did not eat the steak during that break. That rhymed. Yeah. You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like that incinerator. And then had cake. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I see. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Killing someone. Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Meeting the Steel Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Oh, gasp. Order! Uh, are you saying... Yes, Your Honor. Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak. She ran into the Steel Samurai. And then, you did it! You killed him with your own hands! Hmm... Mr. She, right! She looks... Uh, Isn't listen. that a little too presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Hmm. Very well. Let us have a little battle of wits, you and I. Oh, uh, any day, lady. Good luck, Nick. Oh, boy. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh, yes. The samurai spear. Y yeah I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? Hmm. I... I don't you, think she could have... You couldn't. No. I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Hmm. Pretty much anyone would. Ha. Huh. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Hmm. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. <gasps> what? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as a murder weapon. Maybe the photograph of that one guy dying? Ugh. Okay. Shows an accident involving Jackhammer. Take that! Wrong, Mr. Wright. But I, I haven't said anything yet. I know you well enough by now to know when you're going to present the wrong evidence. What? I can sense it too with my fae blood. Okay, okay, so I picked the wrong evidence. Enough with all the sensing! Huh? Right, okay. Here's the real evidence, Your Honor. Uh, Sorry, I picked the wrong one. It's okay. I can prove that the samurai was not used as a murder weapon. The samurai? Uh, uh, the tape? I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. But that is the murder weapon. Mm -hmm. Not so fast. Remember that this spear broke during the morning action run-through scene? But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. That's right. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who's wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? <gasps> Order! Order! It's getting intense. Mr. Wright. What are you driving at? What are you driving at, Mr. Wright? Think about what your... Silence. I'm the one testifying here, and I will be hurt. Wow, that lady is a power trip. Uh, what? Are you quite sane? 
Uh, are you even aware of what yours? Oh, that's sorry. Oh, are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what the weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? Uh. uh yes. Yes. The, the photograph from five years right, ago. All we'll, right, we'll try the photograph. I would make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was. Would I make it? Uh, I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. It was the sleeping pills. Yes. Very well. Let's see this murder weapon. It was the T-bone steak. It got lodged in him when he uh, choked on it. Wait, no. Not the T-bone steak. It uh, was the car. No. She hit him with it. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. Look at this photo. <gasps> what? What is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Order! Order! <laughs> if I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Your judge voice is cute. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago, Your Honor. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close-kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it? See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What? What? Are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago... has happened again! <gasps> Whoa! Mr. Wright, continue. This is getting good! I know, it's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss De D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside trailer two. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Like, just like Mr. Hammer had uh, himself done five years prior. Though, whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. Hmm. Uh, in, in other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die? Creepy. Five years ago? Mm-hmm. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny what I say is true? Hmm. Mr. Wright, let's say, for the sake of argument, that Hammer died at the trailer, as you say. Yet, the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One? and return to the trailer, all in the space of a 15-minute break. How could I have disposed of the body? Hmm... The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45 p.m. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death? Then carried to Studio One and placed inside of his costume? There wasn't enough time. I would have stored the body in the van. Hmm, it, you're creepy. Indeed. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? If I was in that position! I, no, I would have turned myself into the police. That's what I meant to say. Please. Well, I mean, isn't this <laughs> but a... But if I was evil, I would have stored it in the van. All right, she had another and... way then. What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance. Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. That's right! I I interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Whoops! Oops. <laughs> <laughs> D. Vesquez used this to carry the body to Studio One! What did we say? Hmm. Mr. Wright? Your Honor? 
Mr. Knight, how can you carry a dead body with that? Um, <laughs> please rethink your statement. Please show us how she carried the body. The okay. van! I, I didn't mean to hit. I was going for the van. It's okay. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One, and you used the studio van to do it! Yeah! <gasps> Wah, wah. Recall your testimony, please. Oh, yeah. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. Oh, you used the van to carry the body to Studio One, Miss Vasquez. Whoa. Then before everyone else got there, you put the body into the magistrate costume. Uh. Hold on, right. Don't forget it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a co-conspirator? I don't think he was. Uh, no, of course he wasn't. Of course he wasn't. Ha! So without Mr. Manella noticing anything, she put the body in the van? Then manage to put the body into the costume? Are you seriously suggesting that is even possible? Uh. Wait. Of course I'm not serious. Wait, Mr. Manella was a conspirator? <laughs> what? I, I was kidding, too. Or, or lighting up the proceedings. <laughs> Doesn't she have like six thugs that work for her, though? Yeah. Light? Lighten? You can't lighten up a murder! Mr. Wright, the court requests you refrain from making claims in a jest. <laughs> yeah, yes, your honor. Uh, of course Salmonella has to have been a co-conspirator. What? The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Wow. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the steel samurai costume. They had to because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. Oh my gosh, disturbing. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? Hmm. No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Hmm. I lose, you win. It was fun. I... I win? Uh, what? I am so confused. Um. Uh, so, what, what happens next? <laughs> hmm? Uh, don't mm, at me. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Uh, I lost something like that? I just said that. Wait, so, so you mean D. Vasquez, so it was you? You killed Jack Hammer? Um. I am so confused. She's still smoking. Who can say? Huh? Are you sure that I did it? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 Nani! Oh my gosh, she's like, um... Order! Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? She's like a sociopath. Um, I... Uh, she doesn't have any reaction. Uh, of, of course, it's, it's as the witness says. <clears throat> Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but, uh, there's no proof. Huh? Edgeworth isn't sure. Hmm. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving then. Uh, what, what do I do now? 
Uh... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Testify again. No further questions. You did it! I'm just gonna say you did it. I don't it. know. Ms. Vasquez, you did it! Hmm. That wasn't a question. Uh, um, did you do it? No. Mr. Wright! Yes, Your Honor. I'm not sure that question helped this court get any closer to a verdict. Oh my gosh. Uh, what do I do now? Oh, she is cold-hearted. Testify again. Yeah! Make her say it again! I, I'd i like you to testify again. Testify again? Know when to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before, the truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh... You'd ask the same questions and get the same answers. A waste of time. Blast! Blast it! Come so far only to fail! This is ridiculous! As it seems, there are no further questions. What? I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. We lost. Objection. What? <gasps> Whoa! What? Edgy! Edgeworth! Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. What? I didn't. I see. V very well. Objection. Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I... I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see why we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, um... I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself again. What exactly do you want to hear her testify about? Um, well, yes, um... Uh, indeed! Verily, I say, ergo... I want to hear about what happened after they found the body! After they found the body? Very well! Okay. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter! Hmm. Nick! Wow. Why did Edgeworth... Uh... Who knows? He probably realized she did it too. But... but... Wasn't he the one that says he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that? Hedgy. Wow, he's changing! After finding the body, here we go. Edgeworth is growing her conscience! I know. It's kinda cool. I was with Sal and Oldbag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, Oldbag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home and had some tea. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I see no issue raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Okay, Nick. We're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. All right, here we go. I don't know if she's ever going to falter. She's like a stone wall. I know, right? I was with Sal and Oldbag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there, too. Only Powers was absent. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember what? There was a dead body lying in front of us, yet you expect me to be calm. Oh, you certainly seemed calm enough when I accused you of murder. I know. 
press harder. Yeah! All right. Wait a second. Wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around. You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez? Hmm. Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his steel samurai costume, Powers doesn't really stand out. We often left him at the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. Sadness. That's so Poor mean. Poor Powers. She is so mean! Well, I suppose that explains that. Very well, Miss Vasquez, you may continue. I would never work for her. I know. I immediately called the police, the Powers. Then Powers showed up. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at him and saying she did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and directional notes. Hold it! The script and your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Yeah! What? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder, after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. But how did she know that there was going to be a murder? How Very well. Miss Vasquez, please continue. Sorry, I interrupted the judge. Uh-oh. Your Honor! I have an objection to the witness's last statement. What? Uh. Think. Miss Vesquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. <gasps> oh. Oh. Order! Mr. Edgeworth! Hmm? Whatever you just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a bold move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? <laughs> um... <laughs> I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Hmm. So, the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? An exciting one! No matter. I think you misunderstood me. Oh? I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no re rehearsal. Hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect its reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action behind the scenes, so I left them behind. You have to find something to peg this on her here! For everything we've done till now would have been wasted! I believe in you, Nick! Go get him! Oh I was with Sal at Old okay. Egg. There's something about that last statement. Has to be left out of the proceedings, went back to the trailer. I knew that hammer was injured. Okay. Um probably So I left them behind? Hmm. I knew that Hammer was injured. How did you know about the injury? How did I know? Sal. He told me. Sal, the director? Hmm. You have to find something to peg this on her here. Everything we've done till now will have been wasted. What do we have in the court record? Power's photo. Okay. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Probably not the steak plate. Um, I'm so gonna say dangerous. the powers photo. But we have to get her to say stuff again. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him. Go back. I knew about Amber was injured. Okay. 
Well, let's do this. Uh, please be right. You knew that Hammer was injured. Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers! Whoa! Oh, that's right! Will... Hammer Mr. Was... Wright! Explain yourself! Hammer wasn't injured! Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo, but that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Oh! <gasps> pretending One person was injured in the run through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. <gasps> now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I already said it. it was Sal who told me. That's right. He must have gotten it wrong. Then. I think not. <gasps> Mr. Manella was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. Uh, you saw Hammer limping. Do that one. Yep. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. <gasps> yes, but, uh... Wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Your Honor... Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg, too. He was pretending to be Will Powers. Oh! And when he was doing this... Well... It would have to be after he put on the Steel Samurai costume. And went to Studio 2 where he was murdered. Exactly! Miss Vasquez! You met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping! <gasps> And Mr. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. <gasps> Whoa. Order! I will have order in this court. Witness. Can you refute this claim? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Huh? Why are you the real killer is always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm... Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? Is there a reason? It's unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had motive? But the thing is, why did he walk that way? Of course I can prove it. Okay. I have proof, and I will show it to you. I present to the court evidence that Miss Vezquez's motive in this murder... I don't know, the photograph? I don't know. Has to be the five-year-old photo. I mean, you could get the Steel thought, Samurai book, but... I thought she was blackmailing him, there, though. This is my proof, Your Honor. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. Hmm. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Well... Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vazquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial. It began on that day five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident uh, precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall was from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However... You, D. Vazquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Hmm. Bringing us to the present day and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly it was a constant source of shame for the X-Star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We're talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... 
as if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Dang it. Mr. Wright, um, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. She had no motive? Reveal evidence? Um. Uh, well, mm. why was Hammer coming to her? That's the thing. Or... She had no motive, Your Honor. I guess this one, I don't know. What's that now? It's 50-50, right? Yeah. It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. <gasps> All Ms. Vesquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. <gasps> What's that now? It's that simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Ms. Vesquez. What? Whoa. What? No, that's, oh, that's I'm sorry. Nani! Nani. <laughs> Nani. There you go. Sorry. Your Honor. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for that purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him for all those years. <gasps> oh! Oh, she really doesn't show emotion at all. I know. I should have just added something like... Ah! So, you did it, didn't you? Hmm. Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance! Th there's blood everywhere! We're too late! Miss Vasquez! What? What? W what happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. Ooh. Oh. M Manuel! Manuel! Oh. Miss Vasquez, please try to remain. Oh, I'm doing your thing. Sorry. No, no. Who, who could do this? I don't know who was doing what. It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and. Oh, I'm guessing that she liked the dude who died. No, Manuel! Manuel! Wait, I don't know. Don't touch him, Miss Vasquez. I don't know who's saying what. I have no idea. No. <laughs> Vader. Vader just. Please, please don't die! Please! Wow. They should have added some context to that one. Yeah, like who was saying what? Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again. Wow. Wait, was the guy who died, she liked him or something? Must have been her guy or something, I don't know. Mr. Edgeworth, where's D. Vasquez? In waiting lobby, your honor, as claim and collected as ever. Calm and collected, my gosh. <laughs> long, long trial. It's I see. Long trial. Mr. Wright. Yes, your honor. It appears you have brought about another miracle. <laughs> I thank you, your honor. <laughs> I think not, your honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Oh. Interesting. Yes, yes, you're correct. Edgeworth, what is going on with Very you? Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Not guilty. Yay! Confetti! The Steel Samurai is free! If only the children's show would continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. Yay. That was crazy. October 20th, 120, 1 12 p.m. Defendant Lobby number three. Ah, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yeah, but it's sad. I know that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Mess Vasquez, but to think that he would try to frame me for the murder. It makes me sad. I thought we were friends. I know. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Uh, huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Uh, well... Show 
Evidence? Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... Because you were the star. Let's see... Maybe show him that picture with all the kids. I love the path to glory! Yeah! Do it! It's because you were the Steel Samurai! Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once. But he was reduced to acting in a kid's show and as a villain to boot. The kids loved the Steel Samurai. And so he hated you. Uh, I, I think I understand. He was jealous. He could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Huh? Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP! Oh? <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume, man. Uh... uh is something wrong? No, of course not. Ah, Nick Edgeworth. Uh, um, say something right. I'm not good at small talk. Huh? A what? Uh. Hmm. Oh, that—that's too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I, I, I really want to thank you. Best Kez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Uh, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar. Uh, right. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However... In retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings? It's like he's a robot. Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. And I'm a big fan of Steel Samurai. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, Mr. Wright? Was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if! They're rivals! Rivals! Right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing out on something? Come on, Nick, tell me! What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? Oh. Are we going to find out? And so the curtain closed on another trial. Aww. It caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. Pink Princess! Oh my gosh! Nick! This is it! The new show starts today! You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant! Fine, fine, fine. I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? I wonder if they'll show us real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real Will Powers. Wait, is he the princess? Oh my god! The end! <laughs> if he is the princess, that would be uh, so hilarious. That would be very weird. And thus, another trial is complete. Yeah! And a brand new episode has been added. Turnabout goodbyes. But anyway, people, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you at 3 p.m. tomorrow with the start of the next trial. Until then, God bless and happy gaming. See ya!